I'm not sure what's going on there. Again. The kingdom of Mertana, nah, united by King Robar the Second. Not sure why not. Oh, now it works. Okay. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. Very small video, but that's just normal. the orcs took its toll and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price the king needed swords for his army and every man guilty of a crime no matter how insignificant was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. to make it impossible for them to escape the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. He did not know, but he would change everything. In the name of King Robar II, bearer of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop! Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare you? Keep silent. Right. Send him in. Ah! Doesn't make a lot of sense to throw him in the water if he's carrying this important letter. But okay. Welcome to the colony. That's enough. Leave him alone. And now scram. Get up. I'm Diego. That's the sound of the game. I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Let's actually talk it to him for... for laughs. Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the king. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The old camp is the biggest, and it was the first. How do I get to... There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Hi there, smart. Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. Since you're from Austria, I probably also grew up playing this game. I'm not sure exactly how old you are, but uh, of course in the in Germany and of course in Austria also quite a popular game. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. 
After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. Where's Bullet now? He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there. But if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. What, you did not play this game? Shame, shame, shame. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. Right, let's go. So, um, let's just hit safe here. It's slightly faster if we just jump over over the till, but we're not rushing here. So, uh, we can beat up these meat bugs. Gives us a little bit of experience. I mean, it's not really uh, all that efficient. Okay. Okay, good point, Mark, but I mean, it's like a German-speaking person, this is like a game that's part of your cultural heritage. Okay, let's just uh, walk through there, we don't need a weapon right now, we're just gonna skip the... There's like a couple of, of like uh, easier foes there, but we're not gonna bother with those. A waste of time. We'll just go and uh, do some of the easier quests. They don't require fighting at the start. And this is one of those great games where you can actually move faster by jumping. Um, by the way, how is the audio level? Is it uh, uh, reasonably balanced in terms of the uh, music and... Uh, and uh, the like my voice and the game sounds have i played portal no i have not there's a lot of games i haven't played the scream was very loud um okay so settings let's make this like one less this one less, I guess. Let's see if it's better now. We're to oh, sorry, I, I forgot that I was supposed to actually uh, play these dialogues. I don't have that much with me. I'll make an exception just this once. Cause you're new here. Okay. You have to watch what you tell me. I better keep it. Let's talk about some other stuff. Keep it. I wouldn't want that to was be a top. Okay, so there's Diego. You can tell me about my quest to uh, join the old camp. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp, and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. 
We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. What about the two other camps? The two other camps split up to pursue their crazy escape plans. There's the new camp in the west of the colony, where the mages think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And then there's the sect loonies in the east. Their camp is in the middle of the swamp, and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here, but you've only just arrived. Take care. Uh, the settlers. I've I've played uh, Settler two a little bit. Yeah. I want to work, I for, want to Gomez. work for Gomez. Oh yeah. And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the task your patron sets for you. Let's see about that. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the Ore Barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. I'll take care of it. Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Okay, let's talk to Diego. Forgot how long this takes if you're not skipping the dialogues. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the Outer Ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Um, okay, what's the test of faith? What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. 
It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. Okay, I think that's all Take I need care. to know for now. Alright, so... So basically at this town we just do some, some quests. There's that quest here in the old camp to get accepted. Uh, which we'll do, and we'll also do some of the uh, the quests for the other camps, and then I'll let chat decide which camp we should join. So here's our first quest. Uh, talk to this guy. Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Okay, give me the 100 ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. Okay, let's do that. Um, hey. Oh, sorry, I've uh, didn't have. Uh, um, I'd like to buy away. a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Didn't have that much ore. Maybe later. Show me your goods. Anything? But we can sell. We can sell some ore, okay? Um. So there's like a, a, a fixed uh, combination for the for all the lockpicks and so on. Um, but I don't have those all memorized, so I'll just like pick up some lockies uh, here. Anything else I can sell here? Sell some beer. So the way the trading works here is you just move things. Uh, into the middle and then if if your value is equal or greater to the merchant's value you can accept here and then you trade those items so um let's actually go back to him and get another 10 ore from him fisk wants and you want me to give you the 10 ore now I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it, and now hurry. Alright, let's do some thievery. So, like, Diego's chest is worth picking, and he doesn't really mind. Kind of weird in that game, which, which kind of chests people regard and which they don't. This is a chest we can just easily pick. We just need the right combination. So the way that um, lockpicking works is we like move um, left and right, and there's a particular combination you need to uh, get here. And I don't remember the right combination. So le right, left, left, right, right, right. Okay, that was the correct combination. Now we have all that stuff. Okay. What should we have now? 130 or nuggets. So let me actually just save the game. Just safety. 
I don't intend to ever die in this game or reload, but just in case something goes wrong. We actually have a limited time to fulfill this last quest, but uh, I think it's like two days or something. That should not be a problem. So, yeah, let's talk to this the guy. Sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. Maybe. Let's talk about. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. But now, it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. Take Let's me go to the camp. I want to have a look at it. Very good. I'll go ahead. Follow me. Hey, you! I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? Uh, I want to join the camp. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh, you're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, but I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam. Quite a big shot. One of the time. gurus of the sect. Kalam like is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective talk. healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe it. off him. Then I can produce it myself. Would be but ahead. nobody can get oh, near Kalam. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Kalom is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. Maybe I'll have to pay for the recipe. Give me 50 ores in advance payment. Forget it. I thought that had been cleared up. No ore, no recipe. No ore, no recipe. Well then, we can talk about the ore as soon as you have the recipe. I'm playing hardball. No, I want to see ore right now or you can get your recipe yourself. There's enough other newcomers. I think I should give the job to one of them. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. Okay, let's just forget about the whole thing. Not so fast. I just wanted to know how far you'd go. 50 ore is quite a lot for a newcomer, don't you think? That sounds better. Okay, okay, I've just got 50 ore nuggets spare here. Don't let me down, kid. I'm not listening to all the blathering. Um, but you also have Show me your picks. goods. I got the best stuff here. Some people know. Yeah, let's just buy a bunch of block picks. I don't know how many I'm going to need because I don't know any of the combinations off hand. Um, do we have any other trade goods? This thing, this thing. Better not go rushing into anything. Some people never People always talk. Okay. I'm not listening to all that blathering anymore. That's really not my problem. Our oh, sect guy doing. There you go. As long as I'm not involved. I thought that it wouldn't be. That's really not my problem. Mm. Let's talk about mm. something else. Upstead. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Yeah, that's all these other guys. Hey, you! I don't think I've seen you here before. No wonder. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. You're only safe inside a camp. Not the best voice actor. BBH.
Aggro please onto those uh, scavengers. Great thing is that they like to fight those for us. What? What is going on? Why, why is he not fighting those? Ah, whatever. I don't care. So I get the experience when he's like uh, accompanying me. I get the experience when he kills something. So that's pretty nifty. So the thing about Gothic is that at the start, you're like really pathetically weak. Like right now, this bull here could kill me with one hit. And if I, I have no weapon, but even if I had like a weapon that I could equip right now, I wouldn't do any any damage to the wolf. I'm like really reliant on his protection here. Right now I only have 40 HP and have no armor and a wolf does 40 damage. These flood flies do 30 damage each. But they would kill me in two hits. I avoid getting hit by this guy. Getting a bit unlucky with uh, things that our well, powers is actually attacking. Okay, now he actually attacks the bluff. Okay, that's that's important. But it doesn't uh, kill me on my way back. I think you see in this game, there's also some of the world left that actually fights against each other. Need to actually avoid being hit by that blood fly. Actually aggro onto me. What if I just run right, I can dodge it. Okay, unfortunately we didn't get all the blood flies, so one is remaining, but that should be okay. Oh, actually the wolf here, shit. Need to be careful there. Really easy to die at the start. Is that the wolves one shot you? Same is also for these uh, lizards. I think lizards even do like 60 damage or something like that. Or was it 50? Can you please aggro that lizard? There you go. Extra experience. First level up, which now means we get uh, 12 life, so now it's 52 life for us. And we also get 10 learning points, which we can then uh, spend once we find a suitable tutor. There's some more scavengers, which are a fairly weak opponent, but still in our pathetic starting state, they're actually somewhat dangerous. Can loot these guys, get some meat. What? Oh, wrong key. The controls in this game are a little bit awkward. Uh, it takes some getting used to. The way it works, you have like an action button, which is like a um, left mouse button or control. And to like do anything, you need always like two keystrokes. So, like if you pick something up, you need to put the. Push the action button and also then forward. Then I pick up these mushrooms. Then they want to talk to someone. And later on we're going to be fighting. It also works on a similar principle. Let's just pick up some of these random herbs. Not really strictly necessary, but why not? We actually even get some experience just for... for um, Traveling with uh, Bal Pavez. Here we are. Down there lies the camp of the Brotherhood. Go through the gate and speak to my brothers. I'm sure you haven't come here for nothing. Ask for Kor Kalam. He's in charge of the novices and tutors. I'll go back to the old camp. There are still many infidels who need to be guided to the right path. 
Good luck. Alright. Get in there. This is where we're gonna find my stuff to steal. Greetings, stranger. You're treading on holy ground. This is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What brings you here? I've heard you're looking for new people. I want to join you. Then, be welcome. The Brotherhood of the Sleeper has a place for everybody who wants to be led by the spirit of the Sleeper. If you're really serious, you should try to get Baal Namib's attention. He's standing in the courtyard just behind the gate. Uh, but you may not speak to him. Wait until he addresses you. Okay. Who are you? I'm Lester. I take care of the strangers who arrive here. You're lucky that you didn't talk to Bal Namib. No stranger is allowed to talk to the gurus. How can I find... I can show you the most important places. Show me the way. To the alchemy lab. Follow me! Okay, the point of this is just to get him away from his master and we can talk to him. That won't happen again. But I want to talk to your master. Forget it. I'm sure I can help you with any of your problems. I want to become a member of the Brotherhood. Kor Kalom decides whether you're ready to join the Brotherhood, but he relies on the advice of other gurus. Bal Namib over there is one of them. First, you'll have to prove that you're worthy, and then one of the gurus will send you to Kor Kalom. How's that supposed to work if none of the gurus will talk to me? It might not look like it, but the gurus observe everything you do here in the camp. If they think that you deserve to become a member of the community, they'll talk to you. You're bound to have opportunities in the camp to prove that you're worthy. Are you familiar with Gothic? How can I get your master to talk to me? You have to know what he wants to hear. And that is? Listen, when we're with him the next time, You'll address me, and we'll have a little talk. Bal Namib is worried, because many of the novices don't only pray to the sleeper, but also to their former gods. You'll tell me that you've renounced the old gods, and that, in future, you'll pray only to the sleeper. Then I'll ask oh, you why you made time. this decision, and you'll say that you had a vision in which the sleeper summoned you. He'll be interested then. Do you think you'll manage that? No problem. I've changed my mind. Suppose you know where to find me. So we'll do that uh, when we leave the camp. Um, so for now, I'm going to do some healing. Grand Theft Swamp Camp. That's really not. So this swamp camp is like a bunch of religious fanatics. They worship uh, someone they call the sleeper. And uh, to get visions of their god, they smoke a whole lot of swamp weed. So like one of these boxes is the one with the recipe. I'm not sure exactly which one it was. So right, right, left, right. Okay, that's it. That's the recipe. That wasn't very clever. Of course, you can talk to Kor Halam as well. What do you want? Um. There was a time when things would have gone better. I would like to join the Brotherhood. I've heard you're the master of the novices, and that you decide who's allowed to join. I don't have time. My experiments are too important for me to spend any time on new novices. I'll rely on the judgment of the Baals. When they say you're ready to wear the robe of a novice, 
Come back to me. Okay. So that's what we need to do to join uh, the bomb camp. Now we'll just jump down here. Maybe. Down here, and then we'll crack this thing. Left, right, right. So left, right, right, left, left, left. Okay, that was it. So here we can find lots of useful stuff that we can trade, as well as some reasonable weapons. So, um... Anything else for us to do here in the camp? No, let's just uh, leave the camp for now. Return here later. We'll just do like a few, a few of the quests for each camp, and then I'll let you decide which camp I should join. Um, but the start is pretty much the same, regardless of which camp you want to go go to. Plus, you just want to get some experience from all the quests. Ah, it's good to see you again. How have you been doing? I have renounced the old gods. Really? What made you do that? I had a vision. The sleeper talked to me. What did he say? He said, go to the camp in the swamp and join the Brotherhood. You're a very rich man, stranger. The sleeper doesn't reward many people like that. The sleeper has chosen you. Do you really want to join us? Yes, I wish to follow the sleeper. Go to Kor Kalom. Tell him I sent you because you are a true supporter of the faith. Get well, out of the that way! That was easy. And now we get out of the way. Okay, so now we've got some experience. 1100 experience. We need like another 380 to get level 2. Because in this game you start as level 0. Like a game for programmers. And... Yeah, then we'll be able to put some points on the strength and be able to uh, get some reasonable weapon. To be able to at least uh, kill some of the weaker beasties here. But now I'm just gonna walk back to the old camp. This should be fairly safe because most of the guys have been cleared out by our companion earlier. And in this game you're just much faster if you just uh, keep jumping. Which is great. That actually makes walking a lot more fun. Um, and yeah, it's a bit goofy, it looks strange, but uh, in terms of gameplay, it's, I like it. It means you always have to, have to sort of judge like how, how do you jump so that you don't like jump too far because then you like land on the ground pretty hard and then you have to you lose some time. Um, you have to like think a bit about how, how to walk optimally to um, to to get the best speed. That's always a mechanic I like in games. Even if it's like unrealistic and uh, looks a bit strange. But gameplay wise I like it. So, um, how much ore do we have? We have no ore, right? Oh, we, can cast, we can sell some of this stuff. Get some ore and do that uh, quest with the sword that Vistler gave to us. Of course we can also... Um, look here, there's like some... Something in this box? Okay, it's just empty. Um, I think there's like some swamp bugs, or whatever they're called here. Meat bugs. Um, it's actually not that easy to hit them. Okay, there we go. Damn. Uh, what? Is... Uh, 
Então, é... Um, this. How much things do we have? Not really enough to get to level two, right? Can you get this quest here? Just enough. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. You want me to throw up? You don't have to eat it, but I think at least you could try. If you happen to get the things, think of me. I've already sent somebody, but he just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. I should have enough uh, hell mushrooms. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. How many hell mushrooms do I have? Oh, I just need one. Okay, it's one missing. Um, okay. okay. There's another chest here that you can pick. Um, hi, that's um, Battle Cooper. How are you doing? Um, get some strength. Who can teach? Start with fingers. He's the most skillful. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other. Where can I find finger? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Some strength. Your strength has increased a lot. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Take care. I think it's actually not that hard to get this game to run. So um, I have the Steam version here. I didn't. I didn't manage to get the like the uh, regular old CD version to run, but I have the game on Steam now. And yeah, this I think got the Steam version to run. Like I've. Uh, you need to install the um, what is it uh, mod kit, and then the game runs just fine. I mean, this I'm, I'm playing this here on the Windows 10 machine, so yeah. It, the, the, these it, these games do, do there's there are some problems with like Windows 10 and like new other new win versions of Windows, but uh, it uh, it is definitely possible to get it to work. Um, show me your. Let's get all the ore here. And keep the change. I'd like to buy a sword, but not. I have one you'll like. The sh that'll be that wasn't very clever. Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. All right, we actually asked to get some. Uh, here's the recipe. I have the recipe you wanted. Very good. Show it to me. Good. 
Good. Now I can produce the potions myself. You are a good man. I'll tell Diego about it. Here you go. Take that for your efforts. He says, giving us nothing. Show Take me your goods. I got the best stuff well. Because I want some more liquid form of trade goods. Got some quests. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can actually get the CD version to run. Ah, new face. What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here, and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just ten ore, man. It ain't much to ask. Just a small donation. I'm from the government, I'm here to help. What if I don't pay? Hey man, don't stress yourself. You're a newcomer. Take a look around. Collect a bit of ore and when you're ready to pay, then pay. You can do it anytime, but don't count on my help until you've made your contribution to my expenses. I'm sure you'll understand. I'll see you later. Just you take care of yourself. Okay, we don't need to pay protection money here. Oh yeah, let's uh, talk to Mordrag. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy this is any the guy kind that, uh, of goods Thoros from me wants us at to get a rid cheap of? price. You have a problem. Really? What's that? There are people around here who want to get rid of you. Really? Then you can tell them they should send someone along to enforce their wish. What makes you so sure I'm not the one to do it? Because I think you're smarter than that boy. You'll soon realize that there are better opportunities than working for Gomez. We too need capable people in the new camp. And nobody tells you what to do. And if I wanted to join the new camp, could you help me? If you're serious, we can go now. I can take you to Laris. He's the head of our gang. But if you prefer to beat me out of the camp, well, go for it. Let's go to the new camp. Okay, Let's go to follow the camp. me. Like O dot A dot. What is this? Who writes okay that way? So, uh, that's like, I wanna deal with those mole rats in that cave. So this can do a decent amount of damage to me, but I can one-shot them with, with this nice axe that I picked up. Okay. Can I do this without losing him? Because if I like move away too far from someone like that, it's following you then they'll just disappear. I think I can go to this camp and uh, pick up. I, th I think I remember I can do this. This should be fine. And now we can also get this um, amulet, which gives us 5 protection. Protection is a really valuable stat here in this game. Because the way that um, damage works in this game is uh, you simply take the attack damage and you subtract the armor from it. So a lot of the weaker opponents have quite low damage values. Like uh, right in this fight I took... Um, so... What is that? I took 16 damage because they do 8 damage a piece, these, uh, these mole rats. But now that I have 5 protection, I'm only going to take 3 damage. So 
this I'm not even though it's like a fairly low level item it's actually very very useful now I, I don't really have to fear opponents like these scavengers or these mole rats Okay, let's go, Mr. Mordrak. Oh, is he stuck like that? Um, let me see. So, what if we do this? Save the game and reload it. Did it fix it? Okay, it fixes it. All right. I'm just going to let him go for me. To eat some stuff to keep my health up. The money is really not much of an issue in this game. At the very start, it can be a bit of a problem, but then later on, you get so much resources in this game. I really should have, shouldn't have stopped to pick up that plant, it's just wasting time. Okay, so there's also like day night cycle in this game, so it's about to become night. Wait, did, did we already turn in? I think he didn't actually turn in the sword for, for this layer yet. So we definitely need to remember that, otherwise we're gonna fail that quest. Um let him deal with this. Oh, that's uh, this guy from down near also shooting. That's uh, maybe a bit of a Good. problem because if, Don't do because if he gets the kill, like if uh, someone who's not in our party gets the kill, then we don't get the experience. Let's not go into that cave right now. And there's like a wolf coming up. That's a dangerous opponent. Be careful of, of, of him. On. My congregation grows. Oh, uh, hi there, Jono. Welcome to the Church of Obelis. Hello, can you please attack this wolf? Oh my god, I might lose the experience now. Okay, got him. So, Jono, have you played Gothic before? Oh, okay, that's like a... Okay, some goblins are here. Two of those. Weapons. Um, as far as I remember, there's nothing particularly important in that uh, chest here. You have not? Then we definitely whisked out on something. Um, do you want to follow him here? Yeah, just, uh, just watch my daily videos. It's actually really a great game. Great atmosphere, great story. Yeah, so... Playing through Gothic today and then Dota stream is going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, uh, 7 p.m. Central European time. Well, here, when you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. 
Talk to Lars. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lars. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. See you. All right, before we go into the old camp, let's go to the mine first. We have a quest in the mine where we have to pick up the uh, list for, for Diego. We'll do that. And kill some of these scavengers in the way. These are fairly weak opponents, and now that we have a decent weapon and at least some protection, we can kill these easily. The blood flies, we could probably kill them, but it's a bit risky, so we're just uh, not going to bother with those uh, as of yet. Um, this is direction to the old mine. Flies flying around here, being annoying. could pick up that meat from them, but it's not that valuable. There we go. And now we're on our way to the mine. Very fond memories of this game. Uh, so, back when I bought my f first computer of my own, this was uh, the first game I played. Um, and there was like something wrong with that computer, like some... some uh, I think it was like the graphics card or something that was malfunctioning and uh, was causing my computer to crash like every 10 minutes or something. Like, I'm not exaggerating, it really was that often. Um, there was like a, a, like a real torture trying to actually play this game until like that uh, thing got fixed and... Uh, um, but still, I mean, just, uh, I just played this game and, like, was, like, obsessively saving, like, uh, like, every two minutes. Um, but yeah, it was still very fun to play the game. <laughs> and then a lot more fun once I actually, um, fixed that issue. Um, so let me see, what was this quest again? Yeah, there we go. Talk to this guy. How's things? I have a deal to suggest. If you make Aaron leave the chest alone, I'll give you ten ore. Ten ore? I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. Sounds like a bit like a New York Jew or something. Okay, let's lure Aaron away. Um, Ian sent me to go see him at once. Ian sent. What does he want? No idea. No idea. Ian will tell you that himself. Do you think he'd tell me something like that? Then I'll go to see him. Let me pass. Right, let's let him pass. You owe me ten ore. Yeah, you've already earned the ten ore. Oh, and one more thing. I have the key to his chest as well. For you, only thirty ore. Give me the key. You made good business there. I just wonder what you get out of it. I'm always glad when I can get one over on the guards. And if they found the content of the chest with me, I'd be a dead man. I mean, what does he get I'll out of it? 20 ore. It's pretty yeah, obvious. Sure. Pretty good return on investment. You know. Open this, and you also made a good deal here. Be sweet. So let's see if we can jump down here without killing ourselves. There we go. That's how you do it. Hey you! If you try to make a fool out of me again, you've had it. You got that? 
Hey, don't you miss the key to your chest? Indeed. I don't even want to guess how or why you know about the key. That's a great question. But I'll give you 20 or if you get it back for me. Here's your key. Yeah, that's it. Well, here's your 20 or like we agreed. But you'd better watch out in future. From now on, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Sure, sure, in the future. He says, and then I'll never interact with him again for the rest of the game. Diego sent me. I'm to collect the list. All right, here's the list. Tell him to hurry up with the deliveries. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. Okay, is so anything else I want in this uh, mine? No, not really. Yeah, exactly. Hardcore double crossing is. Uh... This is not a game that rewards uh, honesty and morality. It just rewards you for being a dirty liar and thief. This is a big cutthroat world. Let's see if we can jump up here, save a slight amount of time, or waste a lot of time if we don't do it. Okay, if you don't make that jump, you just waste a couple of seconds in there. And um, just thought I would make it more interesting. Okay, made that jump as well. Nice, nice, nice. Made a jump over this as well. There we go. And we're out of here. We already swing for one hour. Yeah, it actually uh, s slows things, things down a lot when you actually listen to all these dialogues. Normally at this point I'm already well done with chapter one. This jump, there we go. So, uh, Saddle Cooper, where are you from, if I might ask? This, this game is like pretty regionally specific. It's like uh, very popular in like Germany and you know other German-speaking countries, and then Eastern Europe, and pretty much unknown outside of that. So, I, my, I'm guess my guess is you, yeah, from Hungary, yeah, exactly. It's basically it's basically Germans and Eastern Europeans who play this game. I think outside of Germany, it's particularly um, uh, popular in Poland, but yeah, also in other Eastern European countries. Okay. Um... Let's see. Can we get in here? Hey, you! Okay, we can't. That's only a... lucky for you. Oh, okay, so at at uh, during day we can just go in there and then steal from my chest, but at night they're sitting there, so we can't do it. Talk to this guy. Do you intend to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sect loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. Watch yeah, your you back. Don't need to talk about, you, don't need, you don't need to talk to this guy. So... This guy's a quest for us. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. Where can I find the beast? 
I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. So, uh, I wasn't actually aware that Anna was also really popular in, in Eastern Europe. The okay, Heroes of Might and Magic. Um, is that not... Weren't those games also fairly popular in... Like the US and such? That's really I'm not to this, to that this guy. You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Bal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can already deliver as much as they want to have. Why don't they send an extra man here? Bal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his weed for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. I fear I cannot expect any help from him. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, they'll want more, which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your task now. Bala Sidro will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Korakalam. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me, bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Kor Kalam and Baal Tion. Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Hi there, Oscar. Talk to people, but only give one yeah, it has a really nice sound, to like really person. nice uh, music. One more thing. If you let somebody take the weed from you, or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Sure. Okay, let's do some, a bit of uh, drug dealing. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you 10 ore for it. Here. Anytime you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. Uh, the funny thing is we're supposed to give them all these gifts, but actually we're taking 10, uh, 10 ore each. The ore is like uh, this magic ore that's being mined here in the, in, uh, in the barrier in this uh, prison colony. And that's also used as a uh, currency. Here. Anytime you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. Okay, and we don't need to listen to this dialogue anymore. Uh, here. I don't want to talk to these guards yet. I'm not listening to all the blathering um. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. That's really so I just need to, um, you look give out some swamp meat yeah. here. We need to, I think we've done four now. That's five. This should be six. Um, we don't need your help. This guy can teach us acrobatics. Somewhat useful, I guess. But not, uh, not a priority. You look like I think that's seven. Not entirely sure though. Um, that's a normally when I do this quest, it's day, but we just spend some more time talking to people. Okay. Can I also smoke weed? No. 
Dopey dope. This guy. You. I think that's nine. Done after this guy. Um. Get in there. Do you know where you're heading? Where? You're heading straight for Lee, our leader. What do I need to do to make you let me see Lee? Nothing. This isn't the old camp. And Lee isn't Gomez. He doesn't need an army of henchmen to hide behind. He can defend himself. We are only here in case he needs us. Okay, let's rob him. Go left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right. Okay, that's it. So this game is actually like quite hard if you if you're playing it for the first time, but if you know all the little secrets, it's actually really easy. So I'm not sure exactly if I have sold enough uh, bomb weed, so I'll just talk to this guy as well. You, uh, if wrong. you want to stay in the camp, you'll have. To this one is what I, I wanted. Show me the weed first. Okay, I don't have any. Okay, I'm done with the, with the strip between the weeds, so we can. Return here, get our reward. Oh, go. Lucky for you. People, if I I go into people's houses, they don't like that very much. Kind of a cool feature. Hey, oh, where, where did the guy you, go? But I would have enjoyed. Whatever. Um, I guess we'll just go to the tavern. So we could uh, go to to the mine, the new camp, and get uh, a little bit of uh, armor here. But we don't need that. And where do you want to go? Why in there? Maybe. Forget it. Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. Wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. How about some ore as an admission fee? How much ore exactly is some? Very differently. Something about some people they never learn. Was it, was it 50 or 100? I think it's 100. What do you say to 50 ore? That's about half of what I'd leave everything you hear. I'm not listening to all the blathering. How about some? How much ore? Okay, it's just giving 100 ore nuggets should be enough. Truly spoken, you can get in. I'm not listening. Okay. So what do we need here? I'm not listening to all that blathering anymore. But keep it That's really not So one very Let's talk about this. These guys are supposed to be down here, I think it's up here. Somewhere we need to talk to him. Like a, a little bit of a bonus. So, Mr. Jeremiah, can you talk to me? What are you doing? I'm making rice snaps, boy. Here, have a bottle. But don't tell Silas. How's the distillery going? I can hardly keep up with these guys. Man, can they drink. Let's That's a good thing, really. Issues, While I'm busy, the rice lord's lap dogs leave me alone. You have to watch what there must be something about that. What can you tell me about the rice lord? He's a damn swine. His thugs pick on the weak and force them to work in the fields. Yeah, the only one who could stand up to him is Horatio, but uh, he doesn't do violence. Well, I did once hear him say he'd love to smash the rice lord's head in, but. Uh, uh, he'd never really do it. I had to go against his beliefs. Okay, that's good to know. 
knocked out a thing clear it up ages ago. Why am somebody in your trouble? Oh, this town. You're done. Okay. Then we talk to this guy for our next Let's quest. Talk about something else instead. People always talk. Mm, maybe. You don't look very happy. I'm not. People I need to get rid of a whole pile of weed. You're here to sell goods from the sect camp? Yes. But I just can't be bothered. Some Some people people never learn. I, I can sell the weed for you for a consideration, of course. Forget it. I'm not as drunk as all that. You just go running away with it. Let's talk about Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. I'll tell you something, you have a problem. Bal Kagan will make sure you'll be replaced. What? The sleeper have mercy on me. I need to get rid of this stuff. Here you go. Have another drink on me. Thanks, man. I'll drink to your health. Enabling all sorts of addiction here in this game. Think about it. Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. Oh, man. I need to get rid of this stuff. You wouldn't try to make me look like a fool, would you? I give you my word. Good. Here's this stuff. You should get at least 400 ore for it. That would be 200 for each of us. I'll be waiting here. Come back as soon as you have the ore. Do you know who'll take bigger amounts here? If I knew that, I would have gone myself. I feel much better now that I'm rid of this stuff. Or so you can just like go to any random merchant and give you that, that amount of money. I've sold the weed. And my 200 ore? Here it is. Good. Now I don't give a damn about Bal Kagan anymore. <laughs> it was a good idea to do business with you. Okay. So... Where are these mercenaries that are supposed to be up here? During the day, there's a couple of mercenaries training up here. None of them can train me in one hand weapons. I suppose the night is somewhere else. I could just go sleep until morning. Although I'm kind of on a timer because I still haven't uh, given Whistler a sword. I still think it should be okay to just sleep now, but exactly certain yeah basically it's like a hey, you've been lucky there is that is that the guy no it's not crazy who are you i'm Torloff. i was involved in a mutiny as mate of a royal warship it wasn't such a good idea the greater part of the crew was on the captain's side that's how i came to be here i'd like to join you Lee won't take you on until you get real good. I'm telling you now. And until then, you'd better stay on good terms with Laris and his crowd. You want some advice, boy? Steal something important from the old camp. Or the old mine. As soon as the boys notice that you're against Gomez, you won't have any more trouble here. And how do I do that? You need to win their trust, and then you can rip them off. Exactly. That's the ticket. You need to win people's trust and then rip them off. And play both sides against the other. Um, I guess I'm just gonna take a nap now. Hey! Out of here or I'll make you run! You can just take a nap here, yeah, that's fine. Hey! You! That's one of the goofy mechanics in this game. Hey, good. Hey, Don't you. Do that what have you been doing? Um. Okay. So what uh, else do we need? Okay. Let's um. Return to Bal Isidro. Um. After we distributed the weed. Or oh, Bal Kagan is his name. I shared out the weed. The first new customers have already been to see me. You've done a good job. 
What will you have as a reward? These spell scrolls are quite interesting. What kind of spells are they? Fist of wind, charm, telekinesis, pyrokinesis, and sleep. You may pick three of these spells. So let's take the spell scrolls. I'll take this. A good decision. Pick three. We want charm. We want sleep. Uh, two that can be used for quests. And then the third one doesn't matter too much. Let's take... Let's take that was three. Use them wisely. Okay, so that will happen again. I equip this and really equip this. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Maybe. Thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Let's talk about something else. To walk past these guys. Now, where are you going? Where can I go? To Laris. I want to see Laris. I doubt he'll talk to you. Just you leave that to me. I won't stop you. Okay. So it's down this guy. Hello? And Look, this way, he won't interrupt us when we want to go to Lars. How did you get in here? What's up with Russell? And Rusko? that gives us the two hundred fifty XP. Feel like stopping me. What do you want? I want to join your gang. Oh yeah? What have you got to show for yourself then? I have the list of requirements for the old mine on me. No, I don't believe it. I must say, you do seem to have a nerve. Show me. Here it is. Indeed. Do you know what we're gonna do with it? We'll add to it, and you'll take the list back to the old camp. Then, when they deliver the stuff to the mine, we'll mug them and take the lot. It won't take a minute. <laughs> Here's the list. You know what to do. Okay, um, did manage to get past your guards? I did manage to get past your guards. That's right, but that alone won't be enough. Mordrag sent me. He gave me a ring for you. A precious piece. It's part of normal procedure here to share your booty with your gang leader. But the fact that he gave you the ring proves that he must think a lot of you. I want you to go to him and tell him something from me. Tell him I want somebody in the sect camp. The Brotherhood is planning something big. I want to know exactly what's going on there. Mm, what else can, what I, else can I do? Bal Isidro from the sect camp has weed worth at least 400 ore on him. I want you to get it from him. I don't care how you do it. If you mean the massive heap of weed, I've already got it. Looks like you've been real smart. If you have the weed, sell it. Bring me the 400 ore. Then we'll talk again to see if you'll be admitted to the gang. So basically, he just wanted, wants me to buy my way in here. But we'll do that to go for the XP. I have the 400 ore. Good. Very good. Sound I believe in this that game. should be sufficient now. Such a great level up sound. Um, Where can I learn something? With me? I can help you to improve your dexterity and strength. Strength, um, let's actually see. I have 30 skill points. We need to be careful not to accidentally steal something from Laris. You again. Ah, Brosco. I That's want to myself. better myself. So, strength, 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 strength. They're leaving me another 10 points. You. Up. That. You shouldn't believe everything. Leaving me another uh, 10 points to spend on one handed fighting. 
now that we've seen a little bit of all the camps, I'm actually going to create a poll where you can vote which camp you want to join. Um, let's do that right now. So let's put it on a time of like 20 minutes or something like that. Um, manage poll. Um, uh, new poll. Um, which um, should I join? Old camp, new camp, and brotherhood. Duration, let's, let's make it, can I make it 20 minutes? Okay, actually 10 minutes is the max. So, got the poll. Um, let's see what people think. Oop, there we are. Okay, let's talk to Cord. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. Of course. It'll cost you, though. I want 30 ore. Yeah, I want to improve my good. handling of one-handed weapons. That's a good decision. Before you can improve your technique, you'll have to learn how to hold the weapon right. Beginners often tend to hold one-handed weapons with both hands. Now you better not even start getting into that habit. It only get in the way. Hold the weapon with one hand, blade up, and keep swinging it. You'll have to learn to harmonize your weapon swing with your own movements. That'll make you faster in the attack. If you keep in mind what I've taught you, your fights will be more elegant and a lot faster in future. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some hits cause more damage than others. As a beginner, you don't stand much of a chance of making critical hits. But the further you progress, the better you get. Okay, now we're going to be a lot less awkward when fighting. So now we can just do fairly quick attacks here. So that's very important. Uh, how much strength do we have? 40. Should be enough. Um, I think there's like some useful stuff you can buy from the magician here. Something you want to do. Greetings, magician. May the blessing of Adonis be with you. I can help you to increase your magic powers or give you some useful items. What can I do for I you? I give him in cell. Um. I want to acquire. Okay. So this is not very really useful so far. This might be useful. You might also need this at some point. Might as well get this and. Uh, do you want ice bolts? No, no, I, I'm not. Uh, not do that. Um, okay. So now we have some extra strength. What's our experience situation look like? Okay, we're still with four. The one thing that's cool in this game is you can just which is kind of cool but also like a bit abusive is that you can just uh knock people down. Uh so the way it works is if you like reduce someone's HP to zero by just hitting them with a melee weapon. They're not actually going to be dead. They're actually just going to be unconscious. Um, where's Silas? They only come out later, I guess. Um, 
Go like this. You can just that was a good knock this guy down. He's finished him off. And then just take his stuff. And his weapon. Yes, I can smoke a joint. Let's do that. Smoke one of these. Gives us some experience. Unfortunately, there's no like really f real um, visible be sorry for that. hallucinatory effects here. Um, you actually get that in Gothic 2, but in this game it's just like only use some experience, which is, uh, I don't know, kind of questionable. Um, and then here you actually get some uh, mana, I mean, smoke it for the first time. So, actually, in this game. Uh, the weed has no negative effects, only positive effects, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, okay, so where's uh, the Silas? Still up there or something? I guess we'll go up to him. Yeah, there's like three, three different uh, kinds, yeah. Okay, so let's... Uh, our goal here now is to knock down Silas because he has a very powerful weapon. Um, okay. I want a drink. You have to pay for it. So we want to take everything in this inventory that can heal him. As if he does manage to knock us down, then he won't be able to heal himself like up. Then. Uh, this is. Give him where's our um, miscellaneous? Let's give him some ore. Yeah, it's just the medical medical swamp weed. Oh, okay, that was Try not that uh, again, very good. It's not a very good attempt. Wow, he was gonna hit me so fast. The knife's nice, gonna take our ore. Shit, he hasn't even got any ore on him. What? I do have ore on me. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just sleeping. As I said, if you if you knock someone down with a melee weapon, it doesn't actually doesn't actually kill kill you. It just makes you unconscious. So Ah shit! Try that Almost. Again, then you'll regret Almost. That that's why why before I attacked him I bought his healing items. Shit! <laughs> he doesn't he heal up as much. <laughs> okay, so like one more and then we'll have him. <laughs> okay. Not supposed to go this to take uh, this many attempts, but okay. Normally, I often get this in the first try, but I guess this time then didn't, didn't quite work. So just heal something up, and then we have a really good You'll weapon. You'll be sorry for that. So now the weapon we had so far did 29 damage. This one does 55. That's a lot of damage. He's had enough. Yeah, let's take this He's guy. Take this guy's stuff. And who else? No panic. That was a good hit. This guy has all of ore. We'll take that. You'll be sorry for that. Eat some food. Wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. And we're back to full. So there's like certain uh, NPCs that you're not allowed to attack. Otherwise, like their their allies. Uh, come get them but here in the uh in the new camp it's a pretty rough and tumble existence uh, so this so the mercenaries they do defend each other but uh ah, 
The rogues here, you can just beat them up. Um, it's no problem. Oh, Mr. Sharky. Hey, do you want to buy? I need a few I need things. A um, I think I should actually be able to knock him out, no problem, but just safety. We'll take his healing stuff. There we go. So this is a way of quickly getting rich in this game. Um, yeah, that's, I don't think we can actually get to level 5 here. So... Do we need extra... Yeah, let's, let's, let's uh, go down that. there, talk to... What's his name? Uh, Horus, whatever his name is. And if you do that, he's gonna give us another five strength. Okay, so the poll has ended and the winner is New Camp. Okay, so that means I'm gonna join the New Camp. Let's do that. But first, I'll also do, uh, turn on some of the quests in the old camp. Um, so I, I, it's actually possible to jump over here. Um, but it's a very hard jump and it's easy to actually die there. You miss it, so we're not going to try it. So... Do some more stealing here. Not a game where honesty is rewarded. Left, right, left, 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 right. Okay. Good. I think kind of like like half of them are sub is like at least some parts of the uh, combinations here. Um oh. Hey, just arrived. We need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields. This way you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? Sure, sure. I'll, be I'll be glad to, glad to help. help. Great. Go to the Rice Lord. He'll give you the water and tell you everything you need to know. Okay. Okay about that. Oh, that, that's a racial. Yeah. What are you doing here? You looking for trouble? Hey, relax. I'm a newcomer. Huh? You look okay, though. You never know. You get new guys come along thinking they're it every day. What's a man like you doing with the peasants? Lee asked me that. I don't fight anymore, except to defend myself. I killed a guy once. And that was once too many. That's why they chucked me in this goddamn colony. It was justice. How did it happen? It was just an ordinary bar fight. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I just must have hit him too hard. I was a blacksmith at the time. I didn't know my own strength. Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Even if I could, what would you use your strength for? So I can wipe out the Rice Lord and his thugs. Hmm. You wouldn't be the first to try that. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, the, this game is from 2001. I will defeat the Rice Lord and his thugs, if you help me. Good. I've sworn I'll never attack anyone again. But I never said I wouldn't teach anyone else to do it. I'm all ears. If you want to hit powerfully, you need to know the right tactics. That's the first thing you learn as a smith. Learn to push your whole arm through, from the shoulder down to the wrist. The better you get at that, the more powerful the blow. You'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Okay, that, was, that gave us another 5 strength. Now we're at 50, and I think that should be enough to take on... Um, take on Lara's.
Yeah, there's a lot of things that are amazing about this game as the the whole atmosphere in in the barrier the the dialogues the voice acting is pretty good and it's just a, like a really nice open world game it just allows you a lot of freedoms uh which also can sort of be abused which i'm kind of doing here uh so you can just like knock down most most npcs and just take all that stuff which allows it to become like really overpowered really fast and it's uh down to this the game is like not very well balanced or anything like that but it's very fun okay let's uh let's take out Lars. so a problem is that we can't actually pick up our weapon after we knock him down after he knocks us down because anything we pick up in Lars's hut is uh considered theft and they're gonna attack us for it Okay, right. so we Don't almost got him. That again. At least, like as as long as. Uh, nice of you to leave me some of your ore. So he's gonna take some of our ore and, yeah. Oh, he has all these healing potions, so this might be might take a while. So once uh, we've knocked Lars down, we can go ahead and. Um. We need to use these weapons now, which of course do less damage. Oh, this thing actually did it. Over by Safety. Okay. Got him. Also, like this potion. Um you shouldn't have done that. Do that again. Little gust of wind and he would have fallen over by himself. There's like one potion here which is like a permanent HP potion. But it's kind of difficult to actually get into focus here. Where is it? Ah. Those in this game are kind of awkward. You shouldn't have little gust of wind and he would have fallen over by himself. Yeah, kids don't do weed. You know, end up beating all up all the people. But now I have a really powerful weapon. Namely Lara's axe. Which is now 65 damage, even more powerful. So you shouldn't have done that. We also have this guy, which gives us a permanent bonus to life. Which is nice to have. And let's eat some food. Get back our strength. And this is how you become pretty overpowered very early on in the game. I guess we can beat up some more people. He's had enough. And yeah, I mean, they really need to beat up everyone here. Kind of redundant. Um, I guess we could also do that uh, quest that um, the guy in the dam gave us, but the lurker is a, a creature that could actually do serious amount of damage to us, so we'll not risk it. I'm gonna try to 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 beat this game without dying. Without him to reload. So, right now, I'm going to return to the old camp. Hang on. Better not go uh, turn in some of my quests. And also, actually, required to join the new camp because we still have this quest to open to deliver the list to the old camp, which is a quest for the old camp, but also for the new camp because. Uh, we have this altered list. Actually, you can actually read the list. Show you where the list is. The writings. List. So the first part uh, is the original list. Um, yeah, bread, apples, whatever. As well as swamp weed, of course. And then we expect the delivery of the day after tomorrow. Okay, I guess it gets cut off. I guess like that line was a bit shorter in German. 
as that's why it's cut off here in the translation translated version i guess and then um that was the ian's list and then i just remembered and that's the thing that uh lara said there so that's a nice touch that they actually have this uh, list here let's save here just for safety because there's sometimes like bugs and such Okay, so now we're strong enough to take on all this stuff, but these um, Bloodfest can still do a lot of damage to us. We only have 5 protections, so they do 30 damage, so they still do 25 damage to us. So we better not mess with them. Just return the way we came. Not the fastest way, but it's safe. Another thing I love about this game is that, uh, like, it's a world that actually kind of makes sense. Like, it has, like, a, a more or less sensible economy. Uh, you have these, you know, these, these camps do do, uh, do stuff to, um, like, earn their living. You have the, the old camp that uh, mines ore and then sends it uh, to the king in exchange for various goods from the outside world. And you have the new camp that... Uh, um, that grows rice as well as just living living on banditry and, and you have the swamp camp that uh, grows swamp weed and sells it to the other two camps and um, buys their stuff that way that's all it's a world that makes sense like in a lot of games you just have you know these these uh, cities and settlements but there's like no farmers there's no one to actually uh it's like some like blacksmith and whatever if we sell weapons to to the hero but it doesn't doesn't seem like it's a world with a functioning economy as uh, gothic has a lot of attention to, to detail here so and beat this guy up he's pretty weak make some of his stuff and rob him in the process so here's it's like a key that uh, it's gonna open this door here and so here's some more stuff so this is some fairly valuable stuff Oh, yeah, there's another lock chest. Okay, not too available here, but okay. Some sort of spell scroll here. And a bow, whatever. My bows in this game are not particularly powerful. It's really just all about like melee weapons and then later on spells. So Gothic is a game where you don't have some sort of character creation at the start. You just start out with a character who's like pretty crap at everything. But then as the game progresses, you get, uh, get to learn additional stuff. So like, there's no way of like starting as a mage. You just start as someone who's like really bad at fighting, but that sort of can do basic fighting. And then later on in the game, you can can learn magic. So you can use uh, spell scrolls to fly from the start, but. Uh, and there's also rune magic, which uh, allows you to, to cast spells over and over again, whereas spell scrolls, you can only cast them once, obviously. Um, well, not obviously, but I mean, that's sort of the uh, common mechanic in, in these games. And to learn rune magic, uh, you can only do that a bit later in the game. So if you join the uh, sect camp, you can uh, learn magic right away, uh, as soon as you join that camp. But uh, your overall progress is a bit limited, you can only get to the... Well, there's like uh, six circles of magic, and you can only get to the fourth circle if you're in the swamp camp. But if, you're, uh, if you join the new camp or the old camp, you can eventually go all the way to the sixth uh, circle um yeah let's just go to the old camp we should have 
a pretty good amount of experience. So to be able to join a camp, you also need to be level 5, in addition to um, doing some quests. We should be to level 5 as soon as we turn in all our outstanding quests. Hopefully we're still in time for Whistler. Go. You shouldn't believe everything. Not listening to all the blathering. Go to him right away. But keep it to you. Some people never learn. But it'll also be enough to join the old camp, but uh, the poll has decided that we join a new camp, so we'll be doing we're doing that. I have, I your, have sword. your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. Do you have any other quests that we can turn in here? All right, you need to, need to speak to Diego. I also need to speak to uh, to, to Thoris because we get rid of uh, more drag for him. Also a quest to find uh, Neck, so that's the find evidence of what happened to Neck. So that's the amulet that we've been carrying around with us. We found on the uh, dead guard. Where is it? Um, yeah. So that's, that's something we can turn in, uh, which means that we're gonna lo lose the amulet, but um, we're gonna get an, a better one pretty soon. Okay. Hmm. He's never going to show his face around here again. I'd have felt happier if you'd killed him. You actually also get more experience if you actually kill him. It's a nice touch. But at least you do get some experience here. Um, I have the list from Ian. I have the list from Ian. The level up. Well done. That'll get you a few brownie points. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? Whistler told me the story about Fisk. Well, if I was you, I would have taken the ore and cleared off. But anyway, he thinks a great deal of you. You've really managed to get the recipe from Kalom. Dexter is very impressed, and so am I. Thora says we could make use of someone like you. That's very good for you. All things considered, that's not too bad for a newcomer. Take okay, care. I, I forgot about the thing with Neck. Also, let's talk to Bloodwind. He's a nice character. Well, it's not Bloodwind. Where's Bloodwind? Ah, somewhere around here. Um, we need to talk to Very Sly. New here, are you? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. I found Neck. Good. Have you got any evidence for that? I found this amulet on him. Here you go. It was actually the amulet the whole thing was about. You're a clever guy. You might have had the idea to keep the amulet yourself, but you've made the right decision. If Diego asks me about you, I'll vote in your favor. Okay, so that's enough to join the new camp, but as not sure, do you get any experience for talking to, to Diego now? Some people right. never What about my esteem with it? I've talked and Whistler told me the story about Fisk. Sly told that? me that you found Neck. 
He seemed to be really content. You've really managed to get the... Thora says we could... You found enough people. You also passed the test of faith. Go to Thoris. I've already told him everything. He'll let you go to see Gomez. Take care. Okay, so this at least allows me to get into the castle here. Diego says I'm ready to see Gomez. That's my decision. And what do you decide? Hmm. I must admit, you seem to have done most things okay. Okay, you can see Gomez. He alone will decide whether you get to join us or not. From now on, you're on your own, kid. Stop! Relax. I've talked to Thoris. I'm allowed in. Oh, I won't forget your face, pal. You get into trouble and it won't end quickly. Yo, in castle. That story after all. There was a time that wasn't very clever. So, turning this uh, quest from the start of the game. Maybe. You may not cross this doorstep unless Master Caristo allows it. I'm looking for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. That is Caristo. What do you want with him? I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Are you a messenger from the outside world? Yes. A magician gave me the letter shortly before they threw me into the colony. Show me the letter. Here it is. This letter is addressed to Zardis. What's so exciting about that? Zardis has not been a servant of Innes for ages. He left us some years ago and turned towards black magic. He lives in a tower in the middle of the Orc land and concentrates on his studies. He said he would go his own way to find out what went wrong with the barrier. Wait here. I'll be back in a moment. I'd better keep out. Talk about something else instead. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. But funny how he climbs those, those stairs. Caristo was beside himself with delight. He said that you may go to Torres and choose your reward. See you later. Yeah, let's choose our reward. Caristo sent me. I've passed the letter on to him, and I'm to choose my own reward. You have done us a great service, and you shall have your reward. Choose carefully. So, that's pretty nonsense. Ring of Strength might be useful now, but in the long term, of course, this is the best one. Permanent Potion. I would like to one. have the Potion. A wise choice. You have picked the most precious of all gifts. Drink the Potion and your power will grow. Greetings, Magician. May Inos watch over you. I trade in magic knowledge, and I can show you how to increase your magic powers. I want to acquire magic writings. There's two kinds of mages here. Um, the magicians of fire and the magicians of water. The Magicians of Water are in the new camp, and in the old camp you have the Magicians of Fire. Um, no, I don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. So, originally the Magicians were all like united, but then they split off. Some of them supporting the old camp, some of them supporting the new camp. And I'm gonna do some more lock picking. Left, right, left, no. Left, right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, right, left. There you go. There's another permanent potion. So I'm not actually gonna drink that strength potion yet. But I'm gonna drink the mana potion. The reason for that is that uh, the maximum you can get you can get to with a with a tutor is a hundred. You can only get to a hundred strength. 
but then you can uh, you can get to 100 and then drink your potions and you can, get, you can go beyond 100. And so I want to do that. Yeah. Um, let me see. I want some more strength. You should never like to do Must be something about that story after all. You teach me Can something. Can you teach me something? Yeah. Let's talk about something else instead. Strength. Strength. Your strength has increased a lot. Come back soon. Take care. Okay, so I have 60 strength, which. Not quite enough. Some people never learn. Really want more strength. Oh, 70. There's a certain weapon that you can wield with 70 strength, which I want. Um, how, how far am I away from that? That's still a, a bit to go. Um, let's first go in here. Take the saves. Hold it! What are you doing? I want to go in. Are you kidding? Why don't you ask Thoris? I will. If you're lying, you're as good as dead. Are you saying I can go in? Yeah, get moving. I'd like to be in his shoes, though. What can I do for you? I want to see Gomez. Thoris says I'm to be taken on as a shadow. We're, We're actually going to become a shadow because we actually man. weren't showing the new camp, but... You seem to have your wits about you. You might be okay. I'll take you to Gomez. Follow me. I just want to get and access here. don't touch here. anything. Through the wall barons. Gomez is over there. If you don't show him some respect, I'll take pleasure in teaching it to you personally. If you got that, get out of my way! People in here. Kind of rude. But, teaching some madness, we're gonna steal from them. Rob them silly. So, what's the combination here? Right, left. Left, left, right, right. Got some nice potions. One, two, three, four, five left, and then two right. They all three of these um, best of the same combination. There we go. So this is some nice potions. Uh, for some reason, it's the graphics are somehow bugging out. No longer showing us the. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we see them again. Yay! And so now we have some extra life. And some people maybe. some more stuff for us to steal, so this guy's not a very good guard. Left left. One, two, three left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four left. One, two, three, four left, right, left, right, left. Okay. Another nice amulet, which we're gonna equip. Um, so this is very good amulet. Much better than the next amulet gives us 15 against weapons, 15 against arrows. And then we're gonna do some more thieving, the strength. That's dexterity, don't need dexterity. Okay, got that one as well.
Oh, wait, so left, right, left, 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 right. Okay, so there's some chests here that are, have some pretty good stuff in them, I think. So left, right, right. Ah, uh, sorry, other way around. Right, left, left. Right, right. Right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right. Okay. That's some moderately valuable stuff, and there's a lot of it. How many lockpicks do I have? Okay, I have plenty of lockpicks. Oh, left and start, left, 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 right, right, left, left, right, right, left, 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 right, 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 left, right, right, okay. There we go, we don't need those coins, they're worthless. Left, right, right, left, 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 right. Okay, that didn't wasn't particularly useful. Do we need any more stuff? I think we're I think we're rich enough. I think we're rich enough. There's some more stuff on the upstairs, but we don't need that. We're rich enough. So the problem now is we need another. Like, 2,000 experience to get a level up. Let's see if we can get some experience. Some people never That's really not my problem. Mm, I guess we could fight in the arena. It's a bit risky though. Not do that. Let's just find some animals. See if we can get those 2,000 experience. Now that we have a very good weapon and a good amount of strength. We're also fairly well protected against at least all these minor opponents. So we can knock these people down. Come on, he's had enough. Don't care about your stuff, you'll be poor. Blood flash should be no problem now. Only a bit slippery. some damage to us but not that much um i guess we can go to the to the stack camp again hit them up again do some quests there but more interesting than just slaughtering random critters here um, can I deal with those lizards yet? I mean, I probably could, but it's like slightly risky. I guess I'll take one on. Oh, actually, it's just one shot of them. Okay, then we can do it. We all see they did a good amount of damage. Like, that's all from one hit. All the damage I've taken here. So... A lurker should be fine too. Okay. That was about 500 XP, need 1500 more. Get some of these forest creatures. Be careful not to take on any of the really dangerous stuff. Gold should be okay. We one shot them, so do some damage to us, but it's okay. Same for these blood flies. 
There's one shadow beast in this forest that's like way too strong for us. There's also some wags further down the forest. They're also too strong for us, so we have to watch out for those. Okay, fine. Okay. Keep going. I really like the, actually the sign of this forest. It's like really sort of ominous and dark. No, it's not a particularly dense forest. It's still a nice atmosphere. Okay, what's down here? There's some snappers uh, in that direction, so I don't want to go further there. That's one of the cool things about this game is that uh, it's it's not like uh, you don't have like areas that are like for a particular level. It's just like more of an organic world where there's you know, oh there's some areas where there's predominantly weak opponents. Actually, we already leveled up. There's some areas where there's predominantly weak opponents, but even then, in those areas, there's still some stronger opponents to is like for example that thing down here that that black dark thing that's a war that's uh, still way too strong for us oh actually we're kind of low Ooh. oh fuck i actually died my god wow okay i just got like way too cocky there talking about like game design and stuff we actually have to reload actually did not manage to wow I'd hope I could do this without dying, but okay. I actually suck at this game, apparently. At least I'm overconfident. I can't actually. Didn't even really watch my HP bar too much. I saw it was kind of too late. Well, not too late, but I think it was already in critical condition. A lot of people say the combat system in this game sucks, but I think it's actually fine. Like, the melee combat system I think is quite, uh, quite nice. Maybe a bit clunky sometimes, but it's still, it's, uh, I think, fairly skill-based. But yeah, that was definitely shameful. Shameful death there. Let's just think or like eat some uh, stuff here. Get up our health. Do we have everything equipped that we have to protect ourselves? Yeah. Be a bit more careful in this section here. Out of down below the bridge. Okay, that's our level up. Back to the plot fly. They don't go near the near the wags. There's like a lot of wolves there. You can be slightly more careful. I'm not saving here. I've, if I die again, I'm supposed to be punished for that. Oh, that's the one that killed me earlier. There we go. That's how it's done. Actually, let's equip a bow just to some scanning, basically. Don't have any dexterity bonuses. 
So this allows us to scan for enemies. So I can see, for example, that these are... Actually, they're called, are called Orc Dogs in this game, okay? Anyway, they're, they're too strong for us right now. I mean, with like good fighting, we could probably take them on with like a little bit of luck. But let's just not risk it. I'm um, actually, I actually have already have enough experience, so... You wanna go to the... Oh, let's not go to the, to the, the sack camp now. Let's just go back to the old camp. And... Then we're gonna take on Scar. Who's one of the old barons and also happens to have the best one-hand weapon in the game. And we can just knock him down. Take his weapon. Uh, but we can't do that anymore once we're uh, part of the new camp. Or if we... I think we can do it, but if we do, then once we've knocked him down, we're going to aggro the other guys. So I'd rather avoid that, so I'm just going to do it now. And then we can join the new camp. But this time it's been a bit slow. Because you've done so many of the dialogues. But it's going to speed up a bit uh, from here. There we go. Tell you. So we're going to talk with Diego. Get another 10 strength. And then we'll knock down Scar. Speed boost there. Okie dokie. This guy is obviously a very tough opponent. But. Yeah, you know, we can just try multiple times to knock him down. It's like a little bit abusive, but whatever. Mm, teach me something. Strength plus five. Strength plus five. Okay, so now we have 70 strength, which is also what really required to actually. Um, Use uh, our sword. Sleep. Safety save. And now we're gonna go and take on Scar. You have the right weapon equipped, right? That's Lara's axe. Which is not the second best uh, wanted weapon in the game, but the second best wanted weapon available at uh, the start. So this is our guy Scar. Ooh, actually got him the first time. But it was extremely close. Down to like, uh, what is it, like 1 HP or something. Uh, 2 HP. So yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> and this woman is apparently afraid. <laughs> Not sure where she's running. Where is she running to? See the fun things happen when we try to talk to her? Nothing, okay. Because she's running away, I guess. Uh, might as well just uh, have another nap here. Fill up our HP without consuming any food or potions. Sleep to noon. That's just a thing on a, on a nice Sunday. And then we can head to the old camp and actually join it. Equip our fancy new sword. Now it does an extra 20 damage. Also has a really long reach, which is important. This is a very powerful weapon. The 
let's take this uh, route now. No more opponents for us to kill on that route. Get some more experience. And yeah, then we can join a camp. And from then on, we're gonna go to chapter 2 pretty soon. I actually hadn't done it this taking this long. Some wolfies with us. Only one wolf there. Fine. Take him then. And no more opponents for us here. These lurkers should be fine. Probably be able to one shot them now with uh, our fancy new sword. One of the cool things about the design of Gothic is that you really feel how much stronger you get throughout the game. Like we've just been playing for like two and a half hours and we're already, we're already like a million times stronger than at the start. Like at the start we would have done zero damage to those lurkers. And they would have killed us with one hit, but now it's just easy going. Be a bit careful with all these goblins because they're going to also warm us and get a slightly ugly. Ooh. As I said, it gets slightly ugly, but only slightly. Yeah, especially since in a lot of the newer games you have the sort of uh, level scaling stuff where opponents just get stronger as you get stronger, which makes it easier to decide an open world, but also kind of makes it pointless because like everything is the same. Like you play like a game like let's say uh, like one of these, these Elder Scrolls games, like not uh, not Morrowind but Oblivion or, or Skyrim. You have this level scaling and essentially there's like almost no sense of progression because you can take on most opponents at the start and that's about it. I was playing one called uh, Blasphemous, which is uh, Metroidvania. What? What is what is that supposed to mean? I got bored since the characters seem to be the same. It's like the, this is sort of like the lazy approach to open world building. Just um, okay, what? I don't I don't know that genre. Let's see if we can take on these blood flies. There's like slight risk, but uh, we should be able to do it. You can one shot them, but they also do a decent amount of damage to us. So we don't need to make sure we don't get surrounded. Go. Oh, just passing. Okay, it was actually. It's so obvious this is like a really accelerated character progression because I know where all the secrets are and where all the good weapons are and so on. But even if you play this game normally, you're still gonna feel like a normal sense of progression over time. When his opponents that, uh, you know, a couple of hours ago uh, would easily kill you, now you easily kill them. And because of the way this open world system is designed, there's not like a, an area where there's only high level monsters or only low level monsters. There's still like low level monsters uh, strewn into the higher level areas and vice versa. So that means you need to be very careful about which opponents you take on at the start. Which sort of reinforces the idea that you are really weak at the start and really vulnerable. And at the same time, also you get these lower level opponents later on in the game, which just really shows you how strong you've become. And that's like a, a feeling you get very much when you replay uh, Gothic, which is kind of missing from some other games. It's also like a problem in a lot of these games where you already start with the heroes already some sort of like hero, right? You're already some sort of uh, really strong fighter who's already really awesome, is already taking on multiple opponents and so on. And then there's just not as much uh, room to go from there. Whereas here in this game, at the start, you're just pathetically weak. 
I uh, didn't really see very much of that because like I know how to play this game so I didn't like, get beaten up at the start but if you try this game on your own and you don't really know what you're doing you're just gonna die a whole lot at the start and then you just feel okay actually let's let's do the lurker here that uh, lurker quest and, and then you're just gonna feel like a, a, a huge amount of, of progression there and that's that's really I think what what makes uh, RPG games so fun or at least one of the big things about RPG games that just you feel yourself becoming stronger and there's sort of this sense of accomplishment that you get from that and to, to feel the sense of accomplishment you need to be weak at the, at the start and then you get really strong at the end yeah that's very easy so let's collect that quest as well Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's exactly the situation in, in Gothic. You just like, get thrown in there, like, at the start and the starting cutscene, you just get punched in the face right away, get beaten up by people. Um, that axe, that's not an axe, that's like a giant sword. Like a really oversized sword. But this is not like one of these like super thick swords, like like the swords you see in Dota, where there's like swords that you know really should should weigh like 50 kilograms or something, or like be or like even more. But like this is a sword that's it's, it's like slightly over proportioned, but uh, it's sort of within artistic license. I'd kill the beast. Great. I got some of the Rice Lord's men to help me fix some of the damage it's caused. Now I can finally get some sleep. Right, so in, in the real world, of course, uh, swords are like light and nimble weapons, like a, a long sword, which contrary to what you might have heard from D&D, is a two-handed weapon. A long sword weighs maybe like 1.5 kilograms. Like some of them are a bit lighter, some are a bit heavier, but some, something around, on, around that. So that's a weapon you can swing really easily and really fast. Whereas some of these like huge hunks of metal you get in these games, that is completely unrealistic. Okay, let's talk to Lars. Okay, Lannis. let's forget about a little argument. Okay, let's forget a little ag argument. Um, given the list to I've Diego. Given the list to Diego. Good. I positioned some men on the path to the old mine. Thoris's guards are lying dead in the forest, even as we speak. They've already mugged the convoy? Where's my share? Go to see Gorn. He'll give you something. Um, let's get some more strength. I want to better myself. Do we have another level up? I can't no. Okay, let's now join the camp. Is that enough for me to join you? I should say so. And I've even got a present for you. A better armor. It's not much, but you've earned it. That's not really my problem. And what am I supposed to do now? You're now a member of our gang. You're free to do what you want. If you want to make yourself useful, go to Mordrag and help him with a sect business. Yeah, let's take a slight nap here. Uh, so, uh, which uh, YouTube channel have, uh, have, have you been watching? I've, I've also subscribed to a couple of uh, channels like that. Let's see. Um, Shh. Hey. Who? I shut up. I need to talk to you. Uh, like, wait, who, who else was to talk to? Uh, more drug, right? So we have this armor now, which gives us a nice amount of protection. The armors are... No, that's some 2001 style graphics. These were actually like really cutting edge graphics for the time, and actually had very high system requirements at the time, but... Uh, by the day standards a bit subpar some 
uh, Italian dude, uh, some Italian dude, um, uh, Metadron. By any chance? Um, so like uh, this sort of long-haired Italian guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've watched a whole bunch of his videos. Uh, yeah, I want to talk to more right? That's it. Hello. Flair has told me to help you with this sect business. You see, I knew I wouldn't have to take care of it myself. Do you want me to settle the affair all by myself? I'm sure you'll make it. Listen, it's important to find out the truth about this invocation story. I know that those sect loonies are planning a big invocation. Me, I don't believe in the sleeper. But one thing's for sure. The gurus have powerful magic at their command. Therefore, it's better to know what's going on. You with me so far? I'll see what I can do. As soon as you know about their plans, come back and report. Right. That is our next main quest. Actually, not reporting back is not actually my own main quest. That's pretty relevant. That's just a quest that's going to give us some um, little bit of experience. But um, the main quest is what we're going to do uh, at the bomb camp. So now we're just on our way there. Actually, let's speed this up. I'm fast running. I have limited on these potions at the start. Uh, what's the fastest way to run here? Uh, no, I'll just run like this. I think that's faster. Yeah, I'm just trapped to like uh, and watch a bunch of these like. Uh, historical channels a lot of them sort of focusing more on on like weapons and uh like military history and stuff which i'm interested in but also like interested in just general all sorts of aspects of history yeah like i watch a couple of these channels like uh, uh metatron and uh, lindy beige and uh scott like Green and uh from these others Now that I have this this armor, you can see I'm just not taking any damage here. You see, I have 156, 155. So one, you always take one damage minimum. Um, that's that's always what you take. Uh, but uh, you don't actually deal minimum damage to opponents. So if you have less damage than their armor, you just don't deal any damage to them. But opponents always deal at least one damage to you. Now that I have, uh, what is it, 45 protection against weapons, and these blood flows on D30, so they only do minimum damage to me. So yeah, um, let's kill some of these guys. Uh, en passant. Take it. One of the disadvantages of this game is that uh, the uh, balance in the game is not very good. It's basically all about uh, melee weapons at the start and then adding in some magic later on. I used to watch Scott Legrim 2, I had to go search his channel because I couldn't remember his name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It helps if you if you know some of the Icelandic sagas. Like uh, Skatlegrim is one of the characters uh, in in one of the sagas. It's in uh, um, in uh, in uh, Njál's saga. Is it Njál's saga? Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's uh, in Njál's saga. It's uh, he's uh, Njál's father. I guess Njal Saga, if you prefer the old uh, uh, old Norse pronunciation.
Um. Yeah, from this whole complex of channels, I think my, my favorite is actually Lindy Beige, who's um, just like a really nice uh, like variety of things he talks about. Which I'm some people find a bit frustrating when they say, okay, I've, I've subscribed to this guy to learn about, uh, I don't know, um, um, medieval weapons, and now he's talking about... Uh, about uh, dancing or politics or evolutionary psychology or some other topic um but i kind of like that i think it's like uh Lindy base is like a really good user base in the sense that he's like really good at like, explaining things and like uh, telling stories in an interesting way and you could listen to him talk about uh, pretty much anything Okay, so we're just on our way here to the swamp camp, killing some opponents on the way. Down you go, blood fly. Didn't quite hit him. Ah, don't fly away from me. What are you doing? One thing that some people like don't like about the common this game is that uh, you can only ever hit like one target at a time. Which... Um, Which kind of like doesn't really make sense in terms of how the visuals are presented in this game because you just hit through opponents. But actually, in terms of realism, it makes some amount of sense because like, you actually hit someone with a sword, uh, you're not gonna just chop clean through them. Your weapon is actually gonna get caught in inside their body most of the time or um, stuck inside their armor. So it makes sense you can only damage to one opponent at a time, and especially if you if you have some sort of weapon like a mace, where obviously the impact of that hit is going to be absorbed by that one guy that you hit. I watched some of your videos from your second channel the other day. What do you think about them? And which ones did you, did you watch? So I re really like doing those videos. The uh, problem is just like no one is watching them. So uh, as soon as I got some success with the Dota videos, I just basically just switched over entirely to doing those. Uh, the Iliad one... The first, like, literature book I read, but since it was really little, I didn't understand everything. I do use a lot of imagination to fill those gaps. Yeah, yeah. Um, like the Iliad is, like, something that a lot of people, like, really misunderstand. They, um... Yeah, it's like, Lindy Bait also has, one, has a video on the Iliad, which is uh, quite worth watching. Um, also cover some of the same ground that I covered in my video about the Iliad, but, you know, it is really not, uh, you know, the, a lot of people think that the Iliad is just like the story of the Trojan War, and I think they've already heard it, but, uh, really you probably haven't, you probably don't know what the Iliad is about if you haven't read it. It's really much more sophisticated than just like a war story. Like, there's, there's a reason that um, that uh, the Iliad had such a like, huge uh, impact, huge cultural impact, and it was basically like the closest thing thing to to the Bible for the uh, ancient Greek world. Since so I was basically a child, I enjoyed more the uh, Odyssey, since I thought it was simpler and had more action. Yeah, that's definitely the case. Definitely easier to understand, simpler, and sort of more straightforward. Of course, uh, sort of uh, from a historical cultural perspective, it had much, much less, uh, much uh, a lower impact than the Iliad. The Iliad is really the the defining work of uh, of ancient Greek literature, or at least uh, pre-classical literature, 
Uh, the Odyssey is like nice and all, but uh, it just not doesn't have the same sort of uh, status in its. And it's like a, a bunch of like fun stories, but um, I think it has much like lower literary value, if you will. Although, of, co of course, it's still very much worth reading. Although, well, to be honest, I don't think I've actually ever read the Iliad like cover from cover, from, like cover to cover. Maybe I should do that one day. Oh, you read Crime, Crime and Punishment, that's also a great book. Um, although uh, from uh, Dostoevsky, I think uh, his uh, brother's uh, Karamazov is even better. Yeah, but definitely a great book. Although it does drag on in, in, in some parts, and it's, I think it, it, it could stand to be cut by like 25%. That's, that's some parts in the book that are a bit like overly detailed. I know some Brother Karamazov segments I've watched uh, in videos, it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely like some of the most famous parts. Uh, like, for example, the story of the Inquisitor, that's, uh, even if you don't read the entire novel, uh, read that section at least, that's uh, really good stuff. Okay, let's go to chapter two. I'm glad you're here. I have news for you. Good news, I hope. Our Brotherhood's planning a really big thing. What are you planning? To break out? The Gurus are trying to contact the Sleeper. But they need something to unite their powers. Oh, and? They need a magical object. A focus. What's that got to do with me? Talk to Eberian. He's the most powerful man around here. This is the opportunity to attain his favor. Where do I find him? Go to the temple. He rarely leaves it. Probably he feels closer to the sleeper in those cold ruins. Uh, yeah, exactly, Oscar. That's uh, where basically Jesus comes back to life. Um, okay. May the sleeper protect you. I actually should have picked up a quest here, which I think now is close to me because it's in chapter 2 already. Um. Whatever. Okay, so let's do some shopping. All the Dostoevsky is like fair enough to give uh, to give the Inquisitor that he actually at the end uh, lets uh, Jesus go. So it's it's not just like a. Uh, complete attack on, on the church. I magic writings. Okay, so this is a good ring that we need. Okay, you want... Minecrawler, Bloodfly... Pick up some stuff here. Not stuff we need yet. Um, need those. No, not really. Okay, so it's like a bunch of. Um, stuff we need here. We trade. Let's give give the these guys back their drugs. And get rid of some of our this jewelry. We need this thing either. And then some of our extra weapons. Okay, that's good enough. 
Um, have you read uh, Frank Herbert's Dune? Uh, yes, I have. It's a very great book, definitely. Um, Sorry if my English is not the best, it's not my first language. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. So, what do we have? Um, we have... How much mana? 22. Okay, that's fine. Stop! You can only enter the Temple Hill if you have a girl's permission. The novice Lester sent me. I shall offer my services to Iberian. Lester is trustworthy, I know him. You may pass. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Greetings, Master Iberian. Ah, I know your face. Impossible. We've never met before. But I thought, well, what do you want? I heard you were looking for something. That's right. We need a magical focus. We sent the novice Nairas to collect the focus, but he hasn't come back yet. You could check up for me what has happened. I don't like his voice actor here. I think the German voice actor here is, is uh, much better. It's a character much better. And what is that woman's face? Um. Why is the focus so important? It is a magical object which can concentrate our spiritual powers. It is one of the five focus stones used by the mages to erect the barrier. In a vision I saw that we need to use the power of the focus. Sounds like quite an interesting vision. My vision was a sign from the sleeper. We can reach him with the focus. Sounds like some sort of American evangelical. But I guess like these, uh, these gurus and so on that uh, seem like more like they're inspired by some sort of Eastern religion, like Buddhism or something like that, or some sort of that within that at least so and this kind of American accent uh, doesn't really work for me um, but okay I'll, I'll bring, bring the focus, focus back. back take this map the location of the focus is recorded on it I also saw your sustainability video I found it interesting since in the university they kind of religiously talk about it without criticizing it anyway yeah, exactly. That's like my, my biggest problem with the whole, with this whole idea is that, you know, the, the, it's not like uh, sustainability is, uh, or just generally environmentalism is uh, is uh, generally bad. It's just that it's it's not an unalloyed good. There are some some problems with it. There's, there's always it's always something you need to, need to think in terms of of trade offs, not just in terms of these uh, sacred values that. Uh, um, I think a lot of, like, not just in university, but also a lot, of, a lot of in, in the media and just a lot of people generally don't really think about these things critically. They're just, to them, like, uh, environmentalism is, is more like a, a sacred religious value than any sort of, uh, um, thing that has to be, uh, be approached with rationality. Let's actually Scram. talk to this guy. You have no business to be here. No real reason to talk to him. I'm searching for the focus. But might as well. Unfortunately, you're too late for that. I've already found it. And I'm keeping it for myself. The sleeper talked to me last night and made me his only tool. Now I'll only serve the sleeper. No more Templars or gurus. Only me alone. Ah. And you die. So if you knock people down with a, a melee weapon, they're just uh, unconscious, but you can then uh, 
kill them separately. Okay, so we can get back there. Uh, we have some mana refreshing thingies. There we go. Um, So this is just like a, a shortcut. This thing can take a lot more fall damage than we normally would be able to. I actually don't even need to take fall damage like this. And now we can get back in there and return the focus. If if we uh, you could also just. Like this transformation just saves a little, little bit of time. Um, I'll we'll just run normally, but this way is faster. I found the focus. Excellent. You have done us a great favor. Now. Take the focus back to Kor Kalom. He'll know what needs to be done. What about some kind of reward? Since you're not a member of our Brotherhood, I will reward you. Take this amulet as a sign of my gratitude. The novice Nyrus has gone mad. He said that the Sleeper had talked to him and chosen him as his only servant. Then he attacked and tried to kill me. The might of the Sleeper is so vast that unprepared souls despair over it. Only we gurus in our years of meditation have achieved the spiritual strength to bear the voice of the almighty Sleeper. Come on, let me pass. Also kind of suspicious that uh, this spiritual leader here is surrounded by these scantily clad women. Shh. You're not allowed to talk to us. I think that's generally the uh, generally people. I, I think have like a very warped idea about uh, nature. Just this idea that everything that's that's natural is somehow good, when in fact, like nature kind of sucks. Right? Uh, it's natural for people to like uh, have a life expectancy of like twenty five. That's that's normal. That's uh, what you get in nature. But, what do you uh, want? In civilization, by us overcoming nature, we get we get uh, a tripling of life expectancy. Focus. We get uh, people ah, living all sorts of comforts. We get last. the ability now to study the magic uh, of these you know, talk to people across the if globe uh, from the Damn. safety of our home. And these people just sort of take that for granted, and then they talk about how pretty the flowers are, whatever. Um, said you'd be really which I mean fine but uh, uh, you can only enjoy the flowers because civilization has given you all sorts of uh, all sorts of wealth and uh, and, and comforts and that uh, allow you Very to uh, Take some of you know, smell the flowers and uh, be uh, thankful about uh, having seen. a clean environment and so May on but uh, you. If, if civilization were not there do that for you, you really wouldn't care very much about uh, keeping the environment intact and so on. This idea that uh, all these like uh, indigenous people and so on are also in tune with the environment and uh, they're all tree huggers and whatnot, that's nonsense. They don't care about the environment. They uh, practice things like uh, 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 things like burning down whole swaths of forest uh, to um, uh, to 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 clear farmland, they um, they overhunt uh, animals and so on. That's uh, I want to acquire magic writings. That's something that you know people do in their sort of 
natural state they have in some sort of uh, more primitive society that's what animals do um sustainability is not something that's uh, particularly natural that's just some sort of it's more like a, a luxury thing that that we nowadays care about because we're so rich so like if once you've taken care of uh sort of basic uh economic needs of people then you can start to care about sustainability that's that's great but um it it should not come at the cost of uh of like ruining the economy which enables us to care about sustainability in the first place um yeah uh, rant over here what's kind of refreshing to see uh, okay uh, i already read that uh, I used like an early this morning. It's like 9 a.m. here, but it destroyed late game and like 25:10 based on my video. Yeah, that's obviously a problem. Also, a, a big part of why Lycan is not doing as well in uh, lower brackets as he is in, in high brackets. Uh, I don't know what your MMI is, but uh, um, generally speaking, in higher brackets, people are much better at. Um, uh, at actually finishing games and pushing and taking objectives you can also see that uh, just the higher up you go in in the skill bracket the shorter the games become which uh you know it's kind of like, like the opposite of what you see in rts games in rts games generally if you have uh, better players they're better able to defend and uh, you don't see as many rushes being successful but in order two it's kind of the opposite that uh, uh low level players just like don't just, just they just play so slow and uh they don't really know how to push properly and uh, capital has an advantage so games tend to drag on and that's bad for you like Lycan. Yes exactly that's definitely also my point of view. Humanity comes first and then uh, taking care of nature and other animals and so on that's uh, that's very much secondary at least in my point of view. Um, Of course, that's a value judgment. That's not like objectively correct or anything, but uh, that is definitely very much my point of view. Okay, can we kill these guys? Let's kill these guys. No, I'm not saying that that no culture appreciated nature or anything like that. Or that uh, like more primitive people don't appreciate nature. It's, uh, um, but you know this this whole idea of the like noble savage that uh, people all live in, in tune with nature. That's uh, definitely uh, very strong in exaggeration. Because um, I think like worship nature in some sense. Oh, that was pretty close. Um, but it doesn't mean that. Uh, like there's like not a lot of let's say things like vegetarianism or something is uh, it's not something that you find in very many cultures. Yeah, definitely, there's cultures of all kinds, obviously. You get like certain certain kinds of cultures where like certain kinds of of uh, of uh, meat or the foods are off limits. Um, or like they're off limit to certain like a uh, cast of people or that like, there are certain times of year where you're not allowed to eat meat or whatever um, But like this whole idea that it's just like unethical to, to eat animals That's a pretty pretty recent invention Like or at least that like, was very rare um, before before we get this sort of uh, um, Western capitalist affluence Yeah, I find the sort of romanticization of uh, of the past kind of dangerous, and uh, a lot of people just don't really appreciate how good they have it these days.
And it's like we, we had this like huge, huge advancement in our standard of living over like the last two centuries. And now we just take it for granted. We, we, and we ask ourselves, like, why is there poverty in the world? Which is like the wrong question to ask. Because poverty is a natural state of man. What we should ask is, why is there affluence? Like, why are there so many rich people? And like... Really, there's nothing to be explained about poverty. That's, that's like the standard, that's the default. You need to explain why now there's like... Like uh, hundreds of millions of like really rich people. When like in, like ev even like sort of like middle class people in uh, a first world country are by many by many um, standards a lot richer than uh, than the richest people in past societies. Like uh, I, I, I can uh, you know scream to people all around the world uh, for free. As, uh, uh, Twitch is even gonna pay me like a small amount for that. Um, Whereas in uh, previously, even if you were, I don't know, if you were a Louis XIV, uh, you still couldn't uh, correspond in real time with anyone on the other side of the world. If you wanted to, um, let's say, write a letter to someone in, in America, it took, took uh, weeks to arrive. Uh, for example, here in Mexico, where I'm from, uh, people are trying to argue the use of psychedelics is good because ancient pre-Hispanic cultures have used it for many things. In reality, they committed horrendous things like sacrificing babies. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. And you're not just like babies, but like uh, people of all kinds uh, uh, were sacrificed by, by the Aztecs. Something I've read is that uh, first world countries have uh, like a have a what a green I don't know what that's supposed to mean green flag of sustainability but have um but have their not eco friendly business in third world countries uh yeah yeah definitely definitely um, there's like a lot of hypocrisy that's going on there. But it like also like from an like economic perspective it makes sense that uh, there's people in uh, like the poorer you are the more um, the more you're willing to accept uh, like pollution a green flag okay okay yeah yeah um, where am I supposed to go be going now just been focusing on talking about environmentalism and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go to the the mine. That's uh, my quest. Uh, going the wrong way. Oh, I no, 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 this is the way. This is the way. I actually I want to do some shopping here in the in the old camp first. What is happening here? What? <laughs> Sometimes you just get these random bugs in Gothic. <laughs> It's basically there's something that basic economics teaches us that uh, you know the 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 richer you are the the more you're willing to pay to uh, not have your nature degraded the more you're willing to pay to have like clean air and so on that's what you what you saw in you know in in Europe in in America and so on in these uh, all these big cities if you go back like uh, even just uh, uh, like 50 60 years. You had lots of smog in all these big cities in in um, in Europe and in the Americas, and but then people got rich enough that uh, they got really bothered by that, and they had the means to actually sustain a high standard of living while also uh, cleaning up the air, and then they did that, and that's what's now exciting to happen in China, for example. You have lots of smog in Chinese cities, but uh, now that the Chinese are finally rich enough to be able to afford to have a decent standard of living while also uh, cleaning up uh, the uh, this uh, smart problem. That's what they're starting to do, and now they're starting to invest in uh, sort of more um, greener technologies. I want to acquire magic writings. You were just reborn. 
oh yeah <laughs> something like that <laughs> um it's also like some bugs where like uh, occasionally you might just like fall through the the ground and uh, just fall into nothingness that can also happen that's pretty fun um anything else that's worth buying here Uh, not really, not really. I think I have another minecrawler thingy, so that should be fine. Um, what do we sell him? Sell him some of these random weapons. Unflatter our inventory. So this is a game where we have infinite inventory, which is great, but also means that there's a lot of clutter here. Weed game, definitely. We have some weed to smoke. We smoke some more weed. Okay, let's smoke some weed. I already smoked this kind of weed, so I'm not gonna any get any bonuses from that, but you know. Let's take a break here. Smoke some weed. And now we'll continue with the business of saving the world. Okay. We're level 9. Uh, do we need some more strength? Let's just get some more strength from Diego. Where's Diego? Oh, there he is. Um, Can you? Yes. Let's just max out our strength. Um, actually, we still have a, a ring that gives us 5 strength, so we can still get. I can't. Wait, so we have under strength now, and what is our equipment? With this one, it gives five strength, okay, and then we need like five more strength, and then we can take our potion. Um, yeah, this is the way. I should have actually slept there somewhere, but that's whatever. Um,. We have 14 of those, so might as well use some. Put the weapon away. That guy. Okay, there's one more. I'm just going to use a sweet potion here because there's a lot of enemies here anyway. But whatever. Will you come on, come back here. here we go. So we need to get back to the uh, mine there, and then maybe a lot of mine crawlers that we have to kill. Or well, not kill, but can kill them. They're in our way, so we're going to do that. And we're not strong enough to actually one-shot them. But have also um, like gone and uh, taken... Uh, I think you could have actually gone to the... Um, to the new camp and gotten the better armor, but I don't don't need that. Fine. It's fine. So save to save and this there's no chatbot there my mmr i think is like 4.9k or something like that right now 
Uh, actually, we should come down here. Oh, no. uh, we don't need to talk to you. Good luck. Same to you, boy. Same to you. I need to uh, start to get a bit like more professional with the stream. Need to like get a uh, chatbot uh, with some like basic commands, and I need to like uh, get like some more customized. Uh, um, some more customized, uh, stuff, like, um, uh, different sub-batches and so on. Then there's something we need to do in the near future. Is that your real first and last name? Yes, it is. That is my real actual name. This guy's running away from the crowd, I guess. Okay, so what we need to do um, is actually talk to Ian, but then Ian is going to tell us we need to get a cog for um, one of the machines here in this mine. And this cog is down here, so we might as well get the cog first. Gonna save everyone some time. We do it in that order. There we go. Pick up some of the raven herbs, which give us mana. Now the question is just, can we get up these ladders? Because these ladders are actually pretty tricky here. They're like, ladders in this game are like really badly designed. So, you just like go up here, it's just fall down the ladder. The trick is to go up the ladder and then jump at the, at the end, which sometimes works but not always. Okay, let's do the other one. Okay, there we go. This is actually one of the most frustrating areas in the game because of that stupid ladder. It doesn't properly work. Okay, let's take some speed. Yeah, that 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 uh, part is definitely not well thought out in this game. <laughs> Are you Ian, the boss of the mine? Then reaction yes. that they just removed I mean, uh, ladders from the second game. Mind, so don't touch or break anything. Or they reintroduced them in the expansion. And the ladders that actually work properly. Tell me about the mine. If you want to look around here, you need to be careful. There are mine crawlers in the caves. You better stay in the main shaft. And leave the Templars alone. Even if they only hang around most of the time. They're the best fighters you can ever have at your side when it comes down to the crawlers. I'll keep that in mind. I have some work to do, and don't keep my boys from doing their work. I'll just have a look around here. Wait, didn't we... Oh, Isn't that Gomez's mine? Yeah, of course, this is the mine Did of the Did we not get camp. the quest yet? But in here, there's only one boss, and that's me. Can you tell me something about the ore production here? We dig for ore day and night. This means a storage of 200 sacks per month, and another 20 sacks which will be melted down. Hundreds of blades can be forged with the ore we supply to the king. That's I've, I've heard that ore. the ore has magical qualities. Tell me about it. The magic ore does have special qualities. 
Weapons forged from it don't break. Their blades are sharper than usual ones. An army equipped with these weapons has a decisive advantage in battle. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. How far am I into the game? I'm currently in chapter 2 of, uh, of 6. But the first chapter is, is um, usually going to be the longest, so I'd say I'm like uh, a third of the way through. I'm um, actually getting going a bit slower than I thought I would. Um, but yeah, I'm actually just going to take a brief break because I need to pee and I'm going to be back in a, about a minute. Okay, we're back, and yeah, I just like, like made a big mistake. Um, that I didn't talk to Corcolum sufficiently, and I didn't actually get the quest yet from him. I was supposed to have. So that sucks. Let's actually go back now. Which is pretty annoying. But okay, at least some more time to talk to you. So if you have any questions about anything, uh, feel free to ask now because it's just going to be some running for the next uh, couple of minutes. That's an annoying part of the game is that uh, as a quite a bit of running at the start, uh, which I mean it's cool because you can explore this well-crafted world and so on um, but I feel like it, it and then later on in the game you get like teleport uh, um, spells but I feel like you get them slightly too late in this game and it gets a bit annoying and a bit repetitive going back from, from camp to camp especially if you like, forget a quest like this <laughs> um, ever read the Mahabharata, no. I know very little about uh, Hindu culture, to be honest. It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. Rely on somebody. I mean, I know some of the basics, uh, but uh, that's about it. I mean, I know enough to know that uh, that Shiva's garden daughter refers to. Uh, a Hindu deity, um, but you know, it doesn't really have anything to do with, with Shiva because nothing, Shiva doesn't have anything to do with cold per se. Um, okay, but we need to, I need to go to the swamp camp. Okay. Going the right way. Oh, there's another blood fly here on my way. Come here, blood fly. Here we go. You can actually also knock down these guys. They're gonna defend each other. That should be fine. Oop. Oh. 
Shiva is meditating in a cold peak all the time, high on weed. <laughs> okay, um, maybe that's your interpretation. The snowy peak, I guess. Didn't know that they were supposed to be sitting on a snowy peak. Maybe, maybe that's the connection there. Um, you don't seem to talk about Naga or PL much. Well, I've made a couple of videos about the Naga. I don't think I've made anything, any, anything about PL so far. I think they're both quite strong in the current patch. Yeah, PL is definitely something I could talk about. Okay, let's kill some of these beasties on the way. I would run away, Mr. Wolf. If he gets disrupted, he will dance and destroy the whole universe. Okay. It's a bit excessive. I actually heard that from a guru on YouTube who told the story. He literally said he was high on weed. Okay. Maybe that's true. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't fly, don't fly away. There you go. Yep, also more of these critters. The thing about uh, Gothic is that um, they kind of like a limited amount of stuff to, to spend your learning points on. Like right now, the winning points I, I, I get don't really make me all that much stronger. Because I'm already about as strong as I'm going to be and as far as one hand fighting goes. Uh, so later on in the game you can get two hand fighting and maybe get like slightly stronger. But... Really talking about marginal things here. Um, like that's like some of the downside of this uh, rapid progression that uh, kind of get close to your max like very early on in the game. Like later on in the game, we're gonna get access to like two hundred weapons, as I said, which is like a slight upgrade and magic, which is not necessarily stronger but offers like a lot more uh, potential, a lot of more different uh, things you can do with magic. Um, so that's cool, but, and then of course we're gonna get a, a much better armor and so on. It's, it's gonna give us more protection and more HP and so on. But uh, as far as like offensive potential goes, we're already like at like uh, seventy or eighty percent of what uh, what we can reach in this game. Uh, what's the worst micro hero currently? Um, the worst micro hero. Hmm. Um. I'm actually not sure. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe Enchantress? Not sure, actually. Oh, actually, actually, Meepo. Meepo is the worst, I think. Or Broodmother. Ah, I'm gonna, gonna go with Meepo, I think. Okay, so let's explore more of these dialogue options. What do you want? Go rushing into anything. Okay, just need to ask him some more stupid questions. Secretion? Yes. As you must know, I produce the magic potions for the invocation of the sleeper. For this purpose, I need the secretion from the mind crawler's mandibles. 
You know what mine crawlers are, don't you? Yes. Very good. Speak on. Well, just a short time ago, I had a vision of the sleeper himself. He gave me a sign. He made me understand that there is a means other than the secretion from the mandibles. And he chose me to pass on this mission. You're not getting this mission from me. You're getting it from the sleeper. Impossible. Be silent, fool. He made me understand that the path I have embarked upon is right, but the means aren't strong enough. The right means can be found with the mine crawlers, but the mandibles are not sufficient. There must be something else. So what, what do you think, uh, Shanua? What do you think is, is the worst micro here currently? Also be, be um, curious about the opinions of other people in chat. Have you never examined the mine crawlers? I mean, maybe there's another body part which contains more of the secretion. Of course, we have taken some mine crawlers apart, but only their mandibles seem to contain the secretion. There must be something else. Find their nest, and you'll find the answer. Okay. Um, Where will I find the mine crawlers? In the old mine. Okay. Looks like this might become quite a bloody adventure. Take these potions with you. I am not giving them to you because I want you to stay alive, but because this task needs to be done. I'll be seeing you. May the sleeper enlighten you. What does the internationally extremely famous Dota 2 player Jon Gunnarsson do for pastime when not playing video games or trying to uncover historical secrets. Um, I've also recently beca uh, begun uh, playing some chess again. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you can call that a video game because I've been mean, playing online. But uh, uh, I also like uh, enjoy reading, and uh, I I like uh, cooking. Cooking is pretty fun, and. Yeah, but like I, I watch like a bunch of vid uh, videos um, on the internet and so on, uh, YouTube videos and so on about not just history but all sorts of other things too. Um, and what else? Uh, I've uh, also like do some exercising, uh, like things like running. Uh, although I haven't done a lot of that recently. Um, I haven't seen many Meepo and Brutes, uh, Smurf Stompers and Pops for a long time. That seems like a telling sign. Yeah, exactly. If, if not, even like top Pop Stompers are playing a lot of Meepo and Brood, that kind of indicates the heroes are weak. Like in the recent patch, they've, they've uh, uh, tried to buff them a bit again, but uh, I don't think it's enough. I think this path should be fastest. Let's do this for scanning. Any enemies nearby? There's a scavenger, I can get him. Back to extinction with you. Okay. Take some more speed. Um, you can actually also like stop by snuff and uh, hand in the recipes for his uh, meat uh, meat bug stew, whatever it's called. But oh yeah, I need to go to the old mine again. Okay. But I mean that, that that quest is only I think like 150 XP or something, so it, it is not really that important. Not that important.
like a meat point brew they've had like a very high win rate um, for a very long time but a big part of that is just uh, a pop stun plus so like play uh what's map of counters on and boosters uh so i think because of that the heroes were kind of over nerfed and now that's just kind of a bit pathetic and not just luna thinks so Yeah, me point brute problem the, the weakest micro heroes right now. But also like uh Chen and Enchantress not that strong right now, I think. After the recent changes. But still it's it's a good time to play these micro heroes because well we have Lycan is completely OP, we have uh Visage who's uh, also completely OP. We have uh, Lone Druid, who's pretty good. We have Naga, that's really strong. Uh, I think CK is really strong right now. PL is strong. Yeah, Chen, I think we, back, back before the 728, I think it was like fine, not too strong, not weak either. But now in 728, um, they removed the ability to uh, uh, um, recall heroes, which is like a big nerf. They gave him like a little bit of compensation for that, but not enough. Okay, there, there we go. Finally, somewhere so here. Five minutes wasted. There are probably dozens of nests here. At least five minutes. Listen, I need to get to this nest now. I don't have time to see to it now. Our masher doesn't work anymore. The gear I mean, I would still play him. It's, I, it's, it's not like he's no just idea terrible. No get a new one. Just get I think me a just gear wheel, like then I'll see to your problem. I have the gear wheel. Hey, like if, well if I done. have to play post five, it's probably work. still my best bet now, to just uh, go for, for Chen. You're looking for the nest of the mine crawlers. Hmm. Just go to Askan and tell him to open the gate so you can search the dark shafts. Just tell him everything's gonna be fine. Then he'll know that I've given you permission. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. Yeah, I mean, he was not particularly often picked in competitive, like sometimes, but not like a, a huge amount. There's really no no need to nerf him. And I, I guess it's, they're making like this sort of conceptual change that's going to make him easier to play. Which I guess they, they hope will make him um, like sort of uh, flatten the skill curve a bit and uh, um, make him less potent in competitive play and uh, then that allows them to essentially buff him in, uh, in casual play but the problem with that is that there's like not enough buffs for that to really make sense but like some very minor buffs like the talents were slightly made slightly better okay whatever that doesn't really do very much and other than that like yeah you can now recall uh, creeps to you but you have to use your holy persuasion cooldown for that and um of course the cooldown for that of, of that is much shorter than the than the um uh what's the other one the aura thingy uh but like having that as not an extra ability is uh, is a problem and of course it's just much more limited because you can only read four speeds I really if, if I want to keep playing past five I think I should be learning uh, Prophet I think he's quite strong right now and he's I think quite uh, I guess the cool thing about Prophet is, is that you can play him in basically any position right now so I think it actually does really well as a five uh, especially with the new shard uh, most shards and uh, most fives are gonna have a hard time actually affording shards 
but um, on profit it should be manageable and if you get that uh, profit chart early it's uh, really potent get so much split pushing going with that you basically get uh, two of those uh, treants whenever you have sprout up with those greater treants if we don't uh, break the uh, sprout with uh, um, with your tree summon ability, you can still break it with the quelling blade. There must be a nest of mine crawlers here somewhere. The whole bloody mountain is just one big crawler nest. Why have you closed the shaft? It didn't matter how many crawlers we kill; more and more just kept coming out. Sounds like there must be a nest somewhere near. Let me open the gate. No. This gate can only be opened with Ian's permission. Nothing will be done before. Hey, Ashgan, you may open the gate now. I've already told you. Only if Ian... Ashgan, everything's going to be fine. And best regards from Ian. Well then, if Ian is responsible for this, but only under one condition. What condition is that? Just get me two or three tempers for support. I don't want to be here on my own when the crawlers come out of the shaft. Prophet is a huge sustainability fanboy. No, 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 no. He's he's one. He's someone who uh, forces innocent trees to fight for him and then die after like 40 seconds. He's responsible for a lot of deforestation, actually. He's someone who enslaves trees. He's not a tree hugger. I know where the crawler's nest is. I'm going there to get something for Kalam so he can brew a stronger potion. Then you'll need my blade. I'll join you. Good. We'll meet at the big passage. Let me. Okay, one more of these guys to help me out. I need your help. I'm looking for secretion for Kalam, and I know where the crawler's nest is. Will you be there when the passage is open? When fighting crawlers, it often costs a lot of blood. If you bring me a healing potion, you can count me in. Here, maybe that'll help. Thanks. You can count on me. We'll meet down below with Askan. I'll be there. Let's go. Uh, do we have some light spell? That would be nice. But it's gonna be quite dark in this cave. Not necessary, strictly speaking, but it would be nice to have. There we go. All preparations have been made. The gate can oh, now be opened. Fifteen HP. Okay then. Open the shaft now. We'll let the show begin. the crawlers come on fight me there we go Okay, more crawlers. They could do some damage to us, and if we get swarmed by a couple of them, it might be dangerous, but uh, as long as they come in one by one, I just one shot them. I've also pretty much. Uh, we have a lot of reach on my weapon, so. It's all fine. More up here? Nope. Wow, then that's actually a really cool level design. Quite creepy. Let me find the big queen. And she's easy to kill because we're like really overpowered for 
this part of the game. You have so much strength and such a good weapon. How many eggs do we need? I'm actually not sure. I think we just need three, but you know. Dave King Sorry. And we're out of here. I'm really into this game's dark atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, it's it's as great atmosphere. Um and this is the English version, so I think we we don't actually get to see uh in extremo. That's like a like this game actually in, in includes a performance of like a uh, like a medieval style band that's like an actual band in the real world that uh, uh, at least in the German version of, of this game perform one of the songs in the second chapter but I think we don't actually get to see that in the English version I think it's some sort of copyright stuff that uh, prevents that so that's a bit of a pity uh, what kind of music do I listen to? Uh, mostly classical uh, so primarily romantic period uh, things like uh, uh, like uh, Beethoven, Wagner, um, uh, Grieg, uh, um, Dvorak, that sort of stuff. Um, but like, I'm not a snob. I I like all kinds of music. Same old story every time. Okay. Um. I don't think I actually get anything important here from Ian. I think we just get some beer, I think. I found the nest. Then we'll finally have peace and quiet here again. <laughs> no offense. Good work, boy. Here, take this crate of beer for your efforts. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. Oh, uh, um, Bach's organ works. I'm actually not like a huge fan of Bach. I, the whole, um, like the whole Baroque period. I think is uh, there's some some great Baroque stuff, obviously too. But uh, um, I'm more into sort of like the later stuff that you get in the 18th and 19th century. Um, yeah, Mahler of course is great, very influential. Also, on like things like film music. Oh yeah, yeah, that that uh, Toccata and so on. that that's uh, that is that is great. Obviously, like Bach is is uh, as there's so many works from Bach that uh, you know. Oh my God! I just oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. My God. Ah. Oh. Where am I now? Did I already do it? Do... Oh my god. Uh, I need to be a bit more concentrated here. Uh, I, I think I didn't do the quest yet. No, no, no. Ah! I think I still need to actually... Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. I actually died twice already. <laughs> there must be okay so like uh, some of my, my favorite stuff hey, like um probably what, like, what? like my number one favorite piece uh um would be uh dwarshark's uh ninth symphony uh that's some really great stuff um Yeah, also like uh, pretty much everything from uh, all the um, Beethoven symphonies uh, from the fifth one onwards are all great. And the, the earlier ones are fine too, but I think they're, they're not as, as good the as his later work. Is. I'm going there to get something for Kalam. Okay, let's skip those dialogue. We already heard that. Hydration is important. Okay.
Let's try this again. Shall we? Let's try to do it in the dark this time. All preparations have oh. Move aside. You? It's the dark atmosphere here. Yeah. that things are actually dark in this game. Not Hollywood darkness where there's like... I actually see perfectly well, it's just like like a little bit dark. Also, kind of, I guess like a thing that a lot of like, people these days are not really used to, to actual darkness. Like especially if you live in a city, it's never really dark. But for like people in like a medieval world or in like this kind of fantasy world, they would be accustomed to things like being just really dark at night. It's just like maybe the light of the stars and the moon to see by, but otherwise just complete utter darkness. And like in in actual like uh, medieval homes or medieval castles or whatever, you didn't have like a, a torch hanging everywhere. Because like torches are expensive and they give off lots of smoke. So if you were like, like I don't know, waking up at night and uh, had to go to the privy say, uh, you would maybe like take a, a, a little lamp with you with like a small light, but uh, um, it, it wouldn't be uh, bright as as it is when you turn on the lights uh, these days. Yeah, uh, Tchaikovsky is great too. He's also one of my favorites. Uh, let's save here. I just like love the idea that uh, like uh, some of these sort of more bombastic stuff of his, like the 1812 overture, but it's just like uses cannons as an instrument. <laughs> That's just so ridiculous and over the top, but it's just uh, it's just great. I love that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not a huge uh, Beethoven fan, but I really like Mozart, especially Symphony 42. Um, I actually don't know what Symphony 42 is. Uh, if, I, if I hear it, I'd probably recognize it, but... Uh, yeah. The Mo Mozart, obviously, is also great. I, I really like the Magic Flute, for example. Great opera. Speaking of opera, I'm also a, a, a great fan of uh, Gilbert and Sullivan. I guess it's more like comic opera or operetta, but uh, still, I think Gilbert and Sullivan is 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 just delightful. Uh, so it's especially um, uh, the uh, especially the uh, HMS Pinafort. Uh, I've only had uh, Giacomo Puccini or something like that. Uh, which which one of his works uh, have you heard? Mm. Of course, one of the disadvantages of of opera is that uh, how much of it, it, it of it is in Italian, which I don't speak. Um, And like even even if it's like German composers, even like Mozart, uh, still many of his operas are actually in, in Italian, although some of them are in German, like the Magic Flute. Oh yeah, Turin Doors. Okay. I've actually never listened to that. I've actually I think I started listening to it to a recording once, but uh, um, never really finished it. I know like the basic plot, and uh, I know that uh, it's 
Uh, it's the source of uh, of Nesson Dorma, but uh, that's pretty much all I know about it. Okay, so now um, get back to the sect camp. Or I guess um, what level are we? We level eleven, so we can go to the new camp and become a mercenary. Only about the music, don't know much about the actual plot. Uh, so the plot is basically there's this. Uh, um, like exile prince who comes to uh to this court that's like chinese i think court whatever and there's this uh beautiful but uh, cruel princess uh um named Turandot or Turando, i'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced and uh um these uh and then you know this this prince uh, decides that he is going to marry her, uh, but uh, she's decided that. Um... Hey, I heard you've been giving the crawlers in the mine a hard time. Lee should be quite willing to accept you as a mercenary. Just speak Just to speak him. Speak to him. Uh, so, um, it's like a, a. I think you need to like solve uh, three riddles if you want to to marry the princess, and if you. Uh, don't solve the riddles, then uh, you'll be executed. Um, so, uh, and then, like the, the the final riddle is, I think, like uh, finding out the princess's name or something. And that's that, that's like what what uh, uh, Nesson Dorma is about. It's like uh, um, um, basically like the. Oh, what, what was it? Oh, like I, I, I think that yeah. I, I guess uh, um, like the the princess. I think also uh, threatens the people that if uh, that if if this uh, guy finds out uh, finds out the name and solves the riddle, then uh, um, she's gonna put them all to death or something. I don't know exactly how it ends. But yeah, that's. Um, uh, where is I going? Hello? You looking for trouble with me again? I want... Um, can we do this? You're at the end! I need to um, remove our ring again. So... Five more strength? Hello? That was a good. I want to. Yeah, so basically, the hero thinks about how, um, you know, he, he's gonna gonna solve Stop. the riddle in the morning, and uh, then you see you hear this you know choir coming in, um, singing about the, how they're going to die, and at the end, um, uh. It ends with Alalba Vincero, and then Vincero is repeated uh, three times. Um, so tomorrow I will win or be victorious uh, because it's going to solve the riddle. Um, yeah. Um, oh, actually, that's a quest. I am now one of Lara's men. Have you got a message for me to take over to the Magicians of Fire? I do indeed, but you'll need to carry the sign of one of our messengers. Else Gomez's men won't let you enter the castle. Here, take the letter and the sign. And now, hurry up. Actually, does remember the beating, but every time you talk to someone who you've already beaten up, they say something like, uh, uh, let's just forget our quarrel or something like that. So, they do remember. And you also actually see, the, see them, like, uh, like uh, shivering. Yeah, they I want to acquire... You, if you look closely, when you've uh, talked to someone who's already beaten up previously... I do remember. Um, oh, actually, plus 10 strength. Let's take this ring. The all the transformation scrolls that are useful. Ice bolt, ball lightning. Like these ball lightnings, I guess. Ice bolt might be useful. Rest. Not so much. Plus 
Like blood flash scrolls are really useful because they allow you to be uh, much faster and get into areas where you otherwise wouldn't be able to get into. Um, and like, I guess like th things like um, uh, things like the uh, transformation to. Uh, the scavenger is also like decently useful because it actually allows you to uh, run faster than you could otherwise. But let's see, uh, let's see if it can show you this. Uh, we talked to someone who have beaten up already. Um, what is about this guy? We can just beat him up. So, talk to him like this. He just looks normal. No, no beating. Over anyway. He wakes up. Beat this guy up as Put well. This one, the game feels a lot like science fiction when you're in a castle. It's more like a classic fantasy game. I guess, I mean, like the, the whole blue light is from all the ore, I guess. Hello. You'll forget about that argument, okay? He's talking about now he's seems sort of shivering you there. Have much time to be Look at his mouth. He's afraid of us. Here, I have this like magic blue light, I guess. And like down here is the, the heap, but there's still all their ore. This huge ore heap down there. That's where you have, that's where you have all this blue light. Uh, okay, what would I want to do? Yeah, let's uh, actually get a new armor and then beat a wolf. I'm here, wolfy wolf. Where are you? Hello. Hey, now you're one of us, kid. Now you're one of us, kid. Um, who are you? Who are you? I'm Wolf. I make armor. I'm looking for better armor. I'm looking for better armor. Since you're one of us now, I can sell you one. Oh, I can sell you one. Let's actually buy both and then beat him up and get the, get back our uh, ore. I want medium. It's good. Ar can you sell me heavy? This armor will protect you. There we go. That's how you abuse people in this game. I'm disturbing my studies. Why have you woken me up? I take all of his stuff. And he has so much stuff to take that it actually takes a while. It's like the spice from Dune. Uh, kind of, kind of like. Uh, it's also like in the sense that it's You're just wrong. this economically very important resource. It's like the whole idea of the game is that uh, all these convicts are thrown into this into this uh, colony to mine the ore because it's so it's so valuable. Um, I'd like to become a mercenary of the mages. Am I ready yet? I'll give you a chance. How about it? Okay, the German text there. <laughs> For some reason. He had so much ore because I actually uh, gave him like a, a 2.4k or something for these two armors that I bought. I bought these two sets of armor and then, then he has that all the ore in, in his inventory. So let's become a mercenary. I want to become a mercenary. A good decision. You won't regret it. Tell me something. Why? Why have you joined us and not the old camp or the Brotherhood? It just sort of happened that way because that's what my dad voted for. It just sort of happened that way. I only hope it doesn't just sort of happen that we stay trapped in here forever. Welcome, mercenary. 
the idea behind the new camp is that uh, they want to gather up all this ore and then the plan is that the magicians can somehow like blow up the barrier with all this ore that's why they're why they mine ore in their own mine if you go go up this path to the left you get to the um to the uh to the new mine which uh we're gonna go to later in the game and uh then and so, so so they just uh sort of uh get their resources by by planting uh rice in those fields down there and also by just stealing from the other camps especially from the old camp uh, so now we have the most stupid looking armor in the game so we have this shoulder pauldron here and then we have some, some trousers but like no real protection for our torso which is like a very very stupid kind of armor um but it has a better protection value than this one which like looks much more impressive it also has like, these stupid spikes in the end like why does it have spikes on the shoulder it is, you're much more likely to injure yourself on those spikes than you are to injure your opponent. But okay. It's fantasy, whatever. So we take this one. And where can you get new armor? Actually, I think we should have talked about it. So maybe they can get better armor now. Um, you can actually, the funny thing, funny thing is, you can actually become a mercenary right from chapter one in the new camp. It's like one of the advantages of joining the new camp. What? Um, so in the other, other camp you'd have to be, uh, to, to get to this point in the story to get promoted, but uh, in new camp you can get promoted right away as soon as you level 10. Um, I need better armor. I need better armor. You'll first have to earn your armor. Apart from that, they don't come cheap. Okay, let's see. Probably can't get this yet. Give me the heavy armor. You're not experienced enough to wear the heavy armor. Come back as soon as you've gained more experience. Which makes perfect sense, of course. Uh, you need the experience to wear armor, somehow, for some reason. I'd like to have the medium armor. You're not experienced enough okay. to wear better armor. Okay. I guess we're stuck with this most ugly of armors for now. Okay, um, so save the game here, just for safety, in case I do another stupid thing. And then let's... I guess we can just get... Uh... Yeah, it's like a really stupid armor. But okay. It will be stuck with right now because that has the highest stats. Highest stats. Actually, I'm kind of tempted to actually just use the, the heavy bandit armor just because it looks so much better and it's not that much worse as far as stats go. Should I do that? Yeah, that's the, I don't know, I need those five points of protection. Um, so we need to go back to the swamp camp. Up ah uh, let's slow me down. Already four four hours in. Can we up here again? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's actually wear this. More sensible armor. It's less protection value, but who cares? Uh, okay, I need to get back to the swamp camp and then we're going to be done with chapter 2. Do I like anime? Um, I guess not, I'm not like a particular big anime fan, but I've watched like some anime. Um, so like back in the day I watched uh, Dragon Ball Z. Um, and... I guess, of course, also in the back back in the days, I also watched uh, the uh, Pokemon anime because that's kind of just what my generation watched. Um, what else have I watched? 
Uh, I've watched some of uh, what's it called, um, uh, Wienland Saga, which is like an anime based on like uh, uh, like a Norse history, um, which is kind of goofy but uh, not bad. Um, else. I don't really think I've. No, I don't. I don't not really watch a lot of anime. Okay, we're back again. Uh, running back here. Go. So, can we get the focus on the left? Um, no, that's not necessary. Just go to the swamp camp. Um, do we have any sort of transformation magic stuff useful here? Nope, I don't. Let's just walk them for now. Another little wolfy. It's actually the wrong way. Here. So hopefully I'll be able to actually make a video on Visage um, tomorrow. And then in the evening you're gonna we're gonna stream. Um, I'm from Germany. I'm from Germany, but like uh, my father's from Iceland, hence the Nordic name. Yeah, I've, I've lived all my life in in Germany. So where are you from in Jiangnu? It looks like kind of like a Chinese name. I guess not a lot of Chinese people on Twitch. After this uh, crawler thing, there's like another quest that we're supposed to do, but we've like already done it. We're supposed to get this almanac that we um, got earlier in this uh, cave full of goblins. Oh, from California. Okay, just learning Chinese. Okay. Not Chinese, just learning it. Okay. That's not really my... What... Uh, what what made you want to learn Chinese? It's like it's uh, obviously a really hard language to learn. Do you plan to like ever go to China or just like uh, for general education? Oh, you have a second family there. Oh, you've been there. Okay, so like as in, in like an exchange program or something like that, or what do you mean by second family? If it, if that's not uh, too private to ask. What do you want? I found eggs belonging to a crawler queen. I knew it. My vision was a sign. The queen's eggs must contain the strong secretion. Excellent. With it, I can create a potion to contact the sleeper. What about my reward? Oh, right. Thank you. I mean a tangible <laughs> reward. Okay. Okay. What do you want? Um, Mana is like a, a permanent mana potion. Healing potion is a permanent health potion. I'll go for the mana. Mana. May this potion strengthen the magic within you. 
I was there during the height of the pandemic. I just met their son and his close friend. They treat me like family now. That's awesome. That's awesome. Same old story every time. Um, okay. Can we start invoking the sleeper now? No. I haven't found a method to charge the focus yet. We are missing the ancient knowledge about these artifacts. Do you mean to say I collected the eggs for nothing? No. Listen to me. There is an almanac which contains what we need to know. We bought the book off the fire mage Caristo from the old camp. However, it was stolen when they tried to bring it here from the old camp. I had charged Talas, a novice, with collecting the book for me, but he was robbed. He let me down, but I've given him another chance. He must get the stolen almanac back. Talk to him. He'll need any help he can get. It just so happens that I already have the almanac, so I found the book. Do that? Good work. You have all we need. I'll complete the preparations now. Where will the invocation take place? Wait till nighttime, then come to the temple courtyard. We will gather there to invoke the Almighty Sleeper. Okay, so just borrow someone's bed for a while, and then we'll be done with chapter two. Go to chapter three. Hey, you disappear from my hut, or I'll call yeah, the yeah, guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit yapping. There we go. Hey, you. You've no business. The long time of waiting you is see now the video. over. Through his immeasurable powers, the uh, sleeper has led us to this place, so we can witness can his. Can't see the video again. I don't know. I can't do anything about that right now. The artifact he showed us in a vision will focus our spiritual powers. Unite your thoughts so the sleeper will hear our prayers, for his is the path that leads to freedom, and we are his chosen people. Looks like I'm in Latin America. May the sleeper mean? awaken. Yeah, it's all black. Yeah, I'm. I it is showing up for me. I'm not. I'm not sure why it's not showing up on, on stream. I had the problem with the intro video at the start earlier as well. I don't know. Just uh, he's, he's summoning it and it's getting some sort of vision of uh, like some sort of catacombs and there's an orc there. Orcs looking at us and now the vision is over and now there's like rumbling and debris is falling and Iberion. Falls down and is unconscious. Yes, master, what has happened? What have you seen? He wanted to show us the way to freedom. Yes, what about it? Was it the path to freedom? Silence! It is obvious. The path to freedom leads through the orcs. The sleeper has shown us a place. We must find it. Not far from here, there is an entry to an orc cave. We'll start searching there. The sleeper will be with us. What does that mean? Shall we fight these monsters? I'll go with the Templars. You novices shall pray for us. Okay, so that... Okay, so now we're back. Uh, actually, you can see stuff, so... Um, just summarizing what happened there. We've seen a vision of uh, often sort of catacomb with an orc in there, and then Iberian collapsed in a coma, and then Kor Anga, the head of the Templars, told people that they're going to search in the nearby orc cemetery. So let's talk to him. What happens now? 
The vision was very vague. It brought us more riddles than answers. But one thing was perfectly clear. I saw an orc in a cave. There is an old abandoned orcish place of worship nearby. The orcs used to bury their dead there. That's why we call this system of caves the Orc Cemetery. The Guru Bal Lakor has gone there with some Templars. Maybe we'll find something there to help us understand the vision. I need somebody to have a look around that place and to report to me about the situation. Why don't you go yourself? You are the leader of the Templars. My task is to protect the Enlightened One. I must stay here with Iberian and guard him. You have done good service for the camp. I trust you more than anybody else here. I'm asking you to go to the Orc Cemetery and report to me what the Templars have found. I'll get on my way right now. Before you go, take this ring. May it protect you in battle. His voice kind of sounds different than it did in the, in the cinematic. What do you want? You what about my payment? What, what do you want? Same old story every time. Mana potions. May these potions oh, give you strength. Issues, though. I'll be seeing you. May the sleeper enlighten you. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. Okay. Also, didn't he say in, in the video that uh, he was going to lead the Templars there to the cemetery? Whatever. Um... So now it's chapter 3, so there's new goods available. So like every chapter, there's like additional enemies spawning hey and uh, the merchants have better goods disappear available. From my hut or, hey, disappear from my hut or I'll call the guards. So we're going to talk to the merchant guy here. Get some better gear. I want to acquire magic writings. Okay, what magic writings do you have? Some nice speed potions. We like those. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to This could be nice. I'm not listening to all that blathering anymore. Okay. Um, any more blood flies? We need more blood flies. Those are great because they allow us to get into areas you otherwise wouldn't be able to get into, and it just moves much faster. The other one's not that important. Okay, 2.8k. Sell some web. Extra some of these lesser armors. Don't need those. We need that ugly armor. Um, Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. There must be something about that story after all. Some people never learn. That wasn't very clever. Okay. To be honest, I'm not uh, much into this Twitch stream thingy, but it's really relaxing for Sunday. Pretty cool. Thank you. That's what I'm aiming for. Thanks for sharing your distinguished video game taste with us. My pleasure. Thanks for watching. And thanks for uh, for participating in the chat here. And yeah, what we talked talk about earlier, it, it does uh, kind of uh, look a bit like Latin America. These, uh, these like ruins and so on. It look, looks kind of like a... Like it might be some sort of uh, pyramid built by like the Mayas or the uh, or the Aztecs or something like that. Yeah, you're right. Um, that remain reminds me of Ark Fatalis. Actually, a game I've never played. That was actually a game I really was interested in, but never actually got to play. It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. It was like back in the day before Steam and so on. These games were expensive. And as a young lad, has of course limited funds. So let's see what we do here. Um, we go to the Elk Cemetery right away. Um, I think we go to the to the new camp first. I think we can get some better armor there. 
like armor that's actually good and not stupid looking. Go fast! Yeah, it's speed. Game is all about drugs, it's about weed and speed. It's actually really a pity that the uh, videos are not working out properly. Like, I had to try like, several times to get the uh, intro video to work, but I don't know. I'm not sure what exactly what the problem is. Like, already uh, just uh, using uh, just a uh, just screen capture or display capture in OBS. Uh, so I really just, just, just capture everything that's on my, on my screen, um, but for some reason it's not. Not sure exactly what the problem is. Um, do I go over there? No, no, let's, let's just uh, do do that in due course. Let's do that in due course. Oh, actually, we can also take some of these other potions. <laughs> some of the stuff is not pr translated properly, actually. Um, so, like this as well now. I think I'm actually not wearing all my rings as I should. We'll check that in a minute. Um, so we also stop by the old camp uh, to see if we need to buy some more stuff from the fire magician guy. I feel like the music is like a little bit quiet. The music is pretty awesome, so I want you to hear it. So actually, no, not video, but uh, sound. Make it one notch higher. I don't know why I thought uh, Gothic would be some sort of micro RPG when you mentioned it last stream. Uh, what do you mean by micro RPG? Like uh, like one of these games, like let's say um, Baldur's Gate, where you like have some sort of party of of, of characters. Is that what you mean? Um. <laughs> How's venturing in the magic arts? Great dialogue option. How's venturing in the magic arts? That's none of your business. Great reply. I want to acquire magic writings. Okay, even most be potions are like those. Oh, nine blood flies. Ooh, I like Um, I also want some of these. One, two, three. Okay, let's stamp on my crap. Don't need food. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. I'm not looking for no problem. Um I'm of flames. Don't need that either. It's that, don't need that. Yeah, that could potentially be useful. Weapons. Oh, actually, that's way too much. And keep the change. Save and try to kill that guy. I could, but uh, I think here that they actually attack me if I do that. The other guys, I mean. So, I'm not gonna do that. That's have plenty of uh, funds anyway. Um, so, let's see. Messenger amulet. I have a letter from the magician of water. I have a letter from the magicians of water. 
Ah, very good. I'll give it to Caristo. When you are back in the new camp, the magicians of water will surely reward you for your efforts. See you later. And there's some, some way of killing him without aggroing people, but I don't quite know it. Because I have seen a, a speed dump where they, where they kill that guy. Not exactly how it's done though. And I want to keep that the uh, reloading stuff to a minimum. I already died twice in this run, which is pretty abysmal. Uh, okay, where do you want to go now? I want to go to the to the new camp, see if we can pick up better armor, and then we go to the orc uh, cemetery. I'm not speed running here; I'm just playing casually. I hope in the next Elder Scrolls they make, I guess, possible the multiple units in your party. Um, I don't know, I, I think that's not really in the spirit of, of their game. Like, there's other games that do that. Oh yeah, and it's kind of like these, these AI companions, they were like really stupid. Yeah, that was not very well implemented. Unfortunately. Um Um do you wanna get the golem hearts? Hmm. I think I actually do. Okay, like, could have like a tank companion would add more strategy to the gameplay. Oh, okay, they're, they're polished the multiple units in party so that they're actually they're a bit more intelligent. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Um, what items do I have? I have with this thing. And like with this thing and that ring and a bonus that uh, I think ring of less invincibility okay I think I think I actually want to go uh, do a short excursion here into the orc character but I, I, I'll do I'll stop by the new camp first Yeah, assign them different roles, that would make sense. Stop by the new camp, real quick. Uses us some time, but uh, fine. It's not a race, even though I'm racing right now. Let's take a talk to Lefty, for fun. Hey, you! I told you to take some water to the peasants. I don't like people who make promises and then don't keep them. He's had enough. He's had enough. He's had enough. Was that nothing particularly useful? Okay. There we go. Now we've beaten up the Rhyster as we promised. It's not really a quest or anything, just. That's for fun. Okay. Talk to Kronos. Get some reward. You seem to be more powerful than the game expected to be this fine. Yes, exactly. 
Hello. You're not supposed to get the best uh, one hand weapon in the game right at the start. But, like, it took us actually two hours because um, I've listened to all the dialogue and so on, but usually if I don't do that, it would take me um, like I less than an hour on. Ah, good. to get there. Here's a small reward for your efforts. So, yeah, this game is not very well balanced. It's sort of uh, like balanced around the idea that people don't really know what they're doing. Which, of course, when you're playing for the first time, it's actually quite a hard game, but uh, if you know all the dirty little secrets, uh, it becomes very easy. Not a particularly hard game. That's why, I, if I'm usually playing this by, on my own, I uh, do some sort of like self-imposed restrictions. Like, first of all, I uh, I have to like uh, uh, play without dying, and then also some sort of extra restriction like uh, not using learning points or not wearing any armor, things like that. Make things more interesting. Um, where's my ore? Oh. Um, actually, I think I need I'm going to remove some mana. E I have 25 learning points. Let's just Hello. invest like 15 and 9. I need, I can. Mana, mana, and mana. May I pass? Okay, let's talk to Lena. Oh, I thought that would have been clarified a lot. And buy a better armor. I think we can get the armor now. Let's talk about something else. Very I hope so. Right. Hello. I need better armor. You'll first have to earn. So we can get this one. I'd like okay, to have the yeah, medium okay, we armor. This armor is a good piece of work. It'll protect your body well. Yes, jumping does make you go faster. And as you can see I'm just going quite a bit faster than I would normally. If I'm just running normally. I guess it's quite slow, but this this way I'm getting going quite quite a bit faster. Uh, but of course you're even faster if you just uh, use your um, uh, speed potions or transformation um, scrolls. Let's take like a slight risk here. Um, where's our blood fly stuff? Oh. Uh, do we have enough other spells? We have ball lightning. Uh, and that should be fine, okay. Course makes us much faster and able to take no fall damage. Um, I think we go here. This. Um, it just doesn't give us too much time. They fall down here. Okay. Also, being a blood fly means we're not going to get aggro by these snapper guys. You could just take them on as well. But uh, I'll do that later. Like if, if you're like uh, into like speed runs of this game and things like that, then... Uh, um, well, first of all, if, if you do like a, a speed run with, uh, with the glitches, you just like uh, go straight to the, to the uh, very last area. And it's kind of silly because uh, you can like, skip the entire game. But if you like a speedrun that uh, does not uh, abuse any sort of bugs uh, or no glitches, then uh, uh, these kind of transformation sp spells are really useful. Make a lot of good use of those. We're just going into the orc area, which is a sort of high level area in this game. Although, even this high level area, there's a uh, 
It's not a bug? Oh, okay, okay, that's a joke, okay. Uh, I walked right into that, didn't I? It's not really a bug, it's more like some sort of insect thing. Like, I don't know, it's like, uh, obviously bugs are also insects, but like a different kind of insect. Okay, so we go, these are actually really, really powerful things, these uh, fire lizard things. This is an area we were supposed to go in the fourth chapter, but we don't go there, go there now. Exploiting some more of the secrets of this game. So, back here. So later on, there's going to be like a demon that wants us to kill these golems here, but we can just do that now. Take some nice potions here. There's some more potions here, and I forget. No, no, no. Okay, um, so. Oh, and actually, where am I? Oh, yeah, I am. So we have ball lightning and those, I guess. for safety okay and there we go uh this this uh it's kind of like a little bit of a riddle like this fire golem is is immune to uh physical damage and fire damage but uh, he's quite vulnerable to magic damage and then i could take his heart which is actually uh, just gives me the fireball spell. Um, there we are. So let's, let's actually put the transform to like something like zero. Like that's yeah, it's zero is fine. And let's put the out of the fire golem on four. This is like a fireball spell. And there we go, kill those guys. This guy's only vulnerable to fire and immune to everything else. What's the origin story of the main character? He doesn't have one. That's kind of like a gimmick in this game. He's, he's called the nameless hero. But he, does, he actually kind of has a name, but he, he never gets to tell people their name. Uh, so he just has no backstory. I guess the idea is that you sort of, this way you can... Uh, identify with him more because like he could be anyone then we have this uh, stone golem what uh, his his deal is is that he is only vulnerable to uh, blunt damage so we're going to use this blunt weapon on him and get his heart as well that's also a spell so we now have three spells that are like runes basically you can always use uh, so this is five, and then this is six. And yeah, and also like in this high level area, there's still some like more medium strength uh, creatures here. Let's just use our new magic a bit here. Oops. Okay, um, let's get this now. So, where do we need to go now? We need to go to the Womp, uh, no, to, to the Orc Cemetery. Let's just uh, fly there as a blood fly. Hi there, Vinny. Just doing some blood flying here. Don't mind me. There are some orcs here. These are really strong guys, but they don't really mind my blood fly.
Um, I think it's not the best way, but there's a shorter way. I guess it's good enough. I'll need to transform here because if I'm a blood fly, he's gonna attack me. But as it is, I'm gonna attack him actually. Thank you. You too. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Um, let's see. this. The mana going. The big disadvantage of of, uh, of spells in this game is that uh, I usually have to sort of channel them a bit. And if we get interrupted uh, by by damage during that time, it just uh, goes poof. You lose your mana and don't get your spell off. So in melee combat, uh, magic is very weak, but there's a lot of damage at range. So this is the Orc Cemetery where we're supposed to go. In the main quest. Let's take these guys out of magic, but it's fine too. So. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Actually, kind of pretty that the game is so easy. It would be cool if there were multiple difficulty levels, but there isn't. So now we're in the orc cemetery, they call it here. Let's, let's actually let this guy hit me once. How much damage did they do? Hello? Ah, oh, not very much. Okay. I just have just way too good gear at this point. This temple is supposed to be killed by this orb, but <laughs> he's just uh, standing there. Again, this guy is supposed to be killed by killer temple, but there we go. I actually probably should have switched some the orc cemetery right away instead of getting going for a better weapon and such. I guess I'm playing for safe. A bit boring. After dying two times earlier, I'm just, I'm just playing safe. So these two guys are supposed to be dead. I guess I just did everything too quickly. Didn't give them time enough to actually die. Oh. Slaughtering all the orcs. Like that. So uh, let's actually do uh, like a safety save here. A bunch of things that can go wrong with the AI here in this uh, section of the game. So we're supposed to find these um, parchments. Jump down here. Beat this up. Okie dokie. Up of parchment, that's what we need. So we have two parchment halves, which uh, this rural guy up there wants. Kill some orcs. Orcs are kind of pathetic. Well, there's one orc warrior later on in this uh, dungeon that's a bit stronger. Thanks for your help. You really arrived in the last moment. Really arrived at the last moment, even though I'm an invincible. Ingar sent me. Have you found any sign of the sleeper? Not so far. But what about Iberia? Has he come to yet? No, he's still unconscious. 
And we need to solve the riddle of these caves. After all these dreadful losses, I can't go back to the community empty-handed. But my fighting skills are limited, and the orcs don't react to my magic spells like the gullible people in the old camp do. If our brotherhood sent you, maybe you could help me with the further investigation of this tomb. I'll help you. Good. Excellent. There are three tunnels leading out of this hall. We should search them all. Go ahead. I'll follow you. I found a piece of parchment. It looks like an orcish spell scroll, but it's been torn in two. There must be another half somewhere. There must be, possibly. There is a torn piece of parchment here. Very good. It's the other half of the orcish spell scroll. What do we do with the two pieces now? The two halves match, but I can't translate these orcish signs. Hang on. This is interesting. Well, I can't find anything interesting in this place. Be silent and take a look at the ornamental runes in this cave. Yeah, these should suffice to translate the two halves of the parchment. I have it. It's a teleportation spell. It seems that it can only unfold its powers in a certain place. Strange. Very strange. Of course, he's supposed to just uh, talk to him right away and then go down these two tunnels, find these parchment scrolls, and then come back here. But I'm just speeding things up a bit. Following me, because he has a habit of just getting stuck at points. This... Juice. And let's go fight the big bad orc. Go straight for him. Okay, this guy can actually do, me a little, do a lot of damage to me, but I just do so much damage that I just kill him before he even reacted. Okay. Ah, he's stuck there. Okay. This place has a special aura. The aura of the hidden. This hall reminds me of the image in the vision. The vision? We're very close to our target. I probably shouldn't be playing this so safe. I should just be rushing through a bit more. Kind of boring when it is this uh, strong. Um... Behind this wall. That must be it. My magic powers are still very weak. Use the Orcish teleportation spell here, in front of this wall. Okay. You found the hidden place. My instincts have not deceived me. And does the answer to the strange invocation of the sleeper really lie here? It looks more like another burial chamber to me. We need to proceed. Go ahead. I'll follow you. Also, that kind of like a pretty weak sauce teleportation scroll that allows you to teleport like one meter behind a door. Wouldn't it be like more convenient to have like a door opening spell? No! This can't be true! There's nothing here but... but dust and... and bones! Master, speak to me. 
No. Sleeper. Reveal yourself. No. That was it. Now he's gone completely crazy. This is all your fault. Your unholy presence has enraged the almighty sleeper. Now I shall have to suffer for your sacrilegious behavior. I need to make a sacrifice for the master. A human sacrifice. Then he'll be sure to enlighten me and make me his servant. Die, infidel! Yeah, yeah. No, just saying D infidel, D. Just speaking German. Gar you? What's Gaiu? Mm. Oh. Ocean of Velocity. He's guys still waiting to die. Eh. Okay, I have a die infidel. Ah, you. Okay. <laughs> Actually, sounds kind of kind of um, uh, similar to what uh, the Egyptian units say in ancient mythology. Was we were playing last Sunday. Okay, I think. Let me see. Uh, this isn't transforming. What? So, oh, can we get out? Up here? Go here. There we go. Going to the depths of the swamp. That's what they call the swamp camp. And our next quest is going to be to pick up some of these healing potions. Or healing herbs, rather. Got some of these guys as well. Come on, little one. Bye. What? Exeunt camp? What's... what? Not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe ancient camp? camp yeah don't have acronyms yet though so I only found these not convert them I'm certainly not spending 6,000 gold on a dom 2 Also, one another upgrade that we can get is uh, um, to get the second level of uh, one hand fighting, then we can fight even faster. I think the first level is, is fine. Good enough. Uh, 
Um, we can also actually use our fireball here. It's actually quite good against these uh, blood flies. You can actually um, fire off a fireball without paying no mana. Oops. And it's still enough to actually kill these blood flies. Like the, you can charge this thing up and then it's going to do more and more damage. But you can also let it fly without doing any damage, without charging it at all. It actually costs zero mana and you can still actually do a little bit of damage. And then against blood flies actually enough to kill them. Here's Bumpy Shark. We're waiting and save to save. What is going on here? What? Okay, sometimes something's going wrong here. Something was going wrong there. Okay. Um, let me see. That can be kind of confusing, but okay, here we are. So, let's talk to... Uh, what's his name? Corcolom? Or the title for the, for the Templars, and then Baal is the title for the... Um, for the gurus, although there are also, there are also some bars that are not actually gurus yet. I've been to the orc cemetery. There was nothing there. No sleeper, no sign, no nothing. What about Baal Lukor and the Templars? They're all dead. Dead? But why? What happened? The entire cave system is teeming with orcs. They killed all of the Templars. Baal Lukor and myself survived, but suddenly Baal Lukor went mad. He screamed that the sleeper had ordered him to kill me, and he intended to obey this order. It would appear he couldn't handle the fact that he hadn't found anything. I don't be believe that, that, that the influence of the sleeper can cause Some such violent deeds. Learn. It cannot, cannot, irrelevant. The most important thing that is that Baal Lukor again, did not succeed in his madness. Iberion. Is our only well, I hope now. Cleared up ages ago. How is Iberian doing? He won't wake of his own accord, and he is growing weaker and weaker. I know how to wake him up, but I need your help. What do you want me to do? Get me the healing herbs from the swamp. Five of the strongest kind should be sufficient. Please hurry. That's really nice. And the sleeper is that kind of the, the god that this uh, swamp camp is, is uh, praying to. But they gave the so they did this uh, summoning ceremony, whatever that uh, we helped them do in the second uh, chapter, and uh, then this vision showed them a, a vision of this orc cemetery, but there's nothing there, so they're kind of confused what happened there, and also Iberian. Um, Kind of fell unconscious um, uh, during that ceremony. Well done. Iberian woke up for a short time while you were out. Sure, sure. Did he say anything? Yes. He said that the sleeper is not what we think he is. We must try not to awaken him again. All we can do is hope that it is not too late for Iberian. I'm not involved. Still he breathing? Did he breathing? Iberian is dead. Talk. Our spiritual leader has left us. Even your quick help could not prevent his death. What now, Kor Angar? I have always trusted right, Iberian. Shortly before he died, he placed all his hopes on the escape plan of the Magicians of Water. Then we should support the Magicians of Water in their plan. They'll need the Focus and the Almanac. Both things are still in Kor Kalam's possession. Where is Kor Kalam? In a rage, he set out with a couple of Templars to find his own way to the Sleeper. Damn, how can we get the focus now? I believe he left the book and focus in his laboratory. Here is the key for the chest. 
There was a time when you things would have gone very right. differently. One moment. Yes? Take this rune of magic as a sign of our gratitude for your great you deeds. This anything. will allow you to teleport fast and easily to the courtyard of our temple whenever the need arises. Thank you. Listening to all the blathering anymore. I... Okay, so that's that stuff gone. And he's still breathing. Listening to all that... Um I'm gonna take a brief break. I'll be back in about a minute.